Um, brother, this is Anulika, my friend, the one I told you about. Oh, Anulika, sit down. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> you were going to say something? Um, I said this is Anoli, my friend, the one I talked to you about. That's her? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um. You know what, let me leave the two of you to get acquainted. No, 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 Sit. Um, I just um, remembered that there is something I need to quickly tell you. Get the guards to offer her something um, to sip on. Okay? Okay. Uh -huh. You know, but on the second floor to come with me, there's something I need to show you. Okay. Right behind me. Understand. Who? Who's that? You brought into the palace. My friend, the one we talked about. No, that cannot be the person we talked about. You brought brought a hobo into the house. That's what you've done. You you brought a homeless woman into the house. Who is that? Brother, you are talking about my friend, and I will not have you talk about her in that manner. I am actually shocked that you keep people like that as friends. You're royalty. What are you doing with that kind of girl? Did you see her skin? Did you see what she was wearing? Did you, did, you, did, you, did you see her feet? You talk about finding me a wife and you bring that into the palace. Why? And that makes me wonder if you want to marry the physical appearance of a woman or a woman, a good woman who will be a true queen to you. Anya Mototo, it is the combination of everything. Physical appearance is important. All right, because at some point I need to have erection to have sex with her. Class is important because she has to travel the world with me. So what exactly is your point? My point is that you have to tell her to get up and leave. She does not fit into what we're looking for. Brother, this is a good girl. She is well trained from a good home. And I'm a good girl. Whoever I take as a wife must represent me and represent me well. Next time you go in search of a wife, for a king, you look at me. Before you find me a woman, look at what she brought into the palace. All right, my king. When are we hearing from you again? Very soon, Che. Very soon? Very soon. Okay. So, we are listening. Eh? We want to... Um, let's hear from you and then we know how to... Eh? It's not a problem. Yes, yes. that is it. Greetings, Obwefi Irutike. Greetings, my daughter. That man is not good for us at all. Once we take over, we find a way to remove him from the land. Exactly. I've been thinking along that line. Yeah. Um, as soon as we take over, we'll send him on exile. In fact, we'll find a way to put him completely out of circulation. Yeah. Then we will uh, perfect whatever we have in this kingdom. Don't worry about that. Do you know it's because of that man that we have not taken over? You see? And we have to do 
everything possible to put him where he belongs. And yes. we have to do it fast. Plans are already in the pipeline. Eh? Don't worry about him. Yeah, who is he? <laughs> My way, I need to is over my Rudiki Gafu, or my uncle, Mwah, my wire. It's a Missy Rudiki. That's a my piano. My princess, I think you are beginning to give me falsehood. Why would you say a thing like that? My princess, didn't you see what just happened? From the look of things, your brother doesn't like me. Mm -hmm. Why would you say something like that? Come on. Forget about my brother's way of modernizing things. Listen. I am very optimistic that my brother likes you. As a matter of fact, he is going to marry you. My brother. <laughs> Come on, this is this is too much. <laughs> oh my goodness, this one I would never forget. This one I would. Who would have thought that you'd make that kind of sacrifice for me? Eh? <laughs> Let me tell you, I would never forget you. Of course, this means a lot to me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I would have to call you back um, uh, much later. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Of course, I won't forget. Uh, uh, Thank you. <laughs> Greetings, Your Majesty. Owefi Iru Dike. Owefi Iru Dike. The most honorable man that I know outside my father is a Farika Wanne of Isio Yerato. Owefi, it is always good to see you. Oh, yes, Your Majesty. Huh? Thank you for the compliment. You're welcome. Thank you, Your Majesty. Please. <laughs> huh? Once again, thank you. Oh, oh yeah. Ah. This visit is all announced, I must say. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, what would you like to take? Uh, Your Majesty, I'm fine. I am not in the mood. You're fine? Oh, yes. Okay. Um, all well and good. Uh, so, uh, to what do I owe this unscheduled visit? Oh, well, Your Majesty, I will go straight to the point. Mm. This is exactly six months since your wife, the late queen, was buried. Traditionally, you are supposed to take another wife that will keep your bed warm. Equally assist you in ruling our people. And most importantly, to perform a queenly role for the women of this kingdom. You have spoken well, Irudike. Um, but I assure you that I am doing all that I can to find a new queen. Your Majesty, if you are crawling in that direction, I have come to advise you that you start running towards it. <laughs> yes. Why? Your Majesty, the kingdom needs a queen that will perform sacred roles for the well-being of the women of this kingdom. And if that all-important role is not performed, in the next two months, Your Majesty, I am afraid the gods will be angry with you. And of course, you know how it always looks when the gods are angry with the people. I hear you, Irudike. I assure you, however, that I'm doing all that I can. And I also promise to hasten the process of finding a new queen. Oh, Your Majesty, I think that will be all for now. I'll beg to take my leave. That will be all. Thank you for caring, I must say.
Dale. Good day, my princess. Andy, how are you? I'm fine, my princess. But Oguifiru Dike is just leaving the palace, my princess. He was with my brother. Yes, my princess. Why? I do not know at the moment, my princess. But I will find out why he is here and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Do not only find out why he came, find out what he discussed with my brother. I will investigate that, my princess, and I will get back to you later. Thank you. You're welcome, my princess. You can go. Do you want with my brother? Finally, the king is getting married. Wow. And that is the reason for the fresh air we are receiving in this palace. You know, ever since the queen died, the presence of a queen has eluded this palace. But I'm glad now that we are going to have another one. Yes, the lucky maiden. Who knows what she really looks like? Well, I may not really say because I don't know her. But whoever that comes as the queen will not be anything less than a goddess. Wait, Jane, why would you say that? Ha. You and I know that our <laughs> king has eyes for good things. Exactly. Wow. I mean, I overheard you, so it's true. So the king wants to take a wife. Oh, yes. Oh, Wifi Iridike just reminded him that he has to get married as a matter of urgency. Bam. But you know there is a problem. What problem? The king might take a wife and she serves as a wife alone, but not the queen of this land. Oh, God, Erima, please, please, we do not have time for your logic this hot afternoon. Whoever the king marries automatically becomes the queen of the land. Mamis. Like, exactly. Or do you even think the king will have a wife here and a woman outside will be the queen? I wonder. Listen, we are just maids who work in the palace of Isionyanato Kingdom. And we must understand that the rules here is different from other places. I don't, even, I don't really understand this girl. Don't understand her. I am happy that the king is, is about to get married. Simple. Again. And we are going to have a new queen in the palace. Please, let's go. Come in. My princess. Ogwifu Duke was here to remind the king he needs to get married. Really? Yes, my princess. And what was the king's response? The king told him that he already had that in mind. But Wilfrid Dike further pressured him. Then the king succumbed to his pressure and told him he was going to get married sooner than later, my princess. Is that all? Yes, my princess. You can go. Thank you, my princess. And Yes, my princess. Thank you for being such an amazing guard to us in this palace. You are deeply appreciated. Thank you, my princess. Saving you gives me joy, my princess. You can go now. Thank you, my princess. The 
time I've been waiting for is finally here. And I have to act fast. Fast. How are you? Fine. How are you? I come sit down, sit down. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what can I offer you? Uh, what do you can Don't bother yourself, Richie. I'm fine. Just like that? You don't want to take anything? I'm okay. <sighs> okay. I guess, uh, what's the message? <laughs> Ichi, hmm? the king has finally decided to pick another wife. Is that so? Uh, when was this decision taken? Today, after Obuefi Rudike visited him. Yeah. This is good news. <laughs> You've done noble, eh? Thank you very much. <laughs> I'll get back to you soon, eh? I'll call you. Let me give you something for, uh, for your transportation. <laughs> yeah. Really? Much, yeah. Really, baby? Let me go back to the Okay, family. my dear. Hi. Thank you very much. This is good. Time has finally come and we are going to make good use of it. We will make good use of this time. <laughs> and here comes the bright morning star of this your United Kingdom. Huh? My sister, the one that I shall continue to hail as an amazing woman. Brother, please don't start. <laughs> but you are my morning star, and I shall continue to hail thee forever. <laughs> your wife will be your morning star, not me. Oh well, you're here. I can see you right in front of me, sparkling as my morning star. When she arrives, then we'll get to decide if indeed she is or not. <laughs> Speaking of that, when is she arriving? You speak my mind at all times. This is why I have invited you to come talk with your brother. Huh? Okay. Sit down. I have something to say to you. Interesting. I have decided to remarry and give Isio Yenato another queen so that it would not be said that I am the reason things are not functioning well in this kingdom. Beautiful. I love this idea. Nice idea. I do love it. I love it. Um, you know, I always had it in mind to remind you, but I was looking for the right time. And when is the right time? Now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um... That reminds me. Obwefi Irudike was here an hour ago. Oh yes, he was. I hope you did not have a drink with him. Why would you ask that? That man is diabolic. And men like that have no problem taking a life, not minding the consequences. Wave Hirudike is not evil. Neither is he diabolic. He's just very traditional. That's all. 
people, we are actually saying the same thing. Tradition has a lot to do with that policy. That is why I'm not comfortable with that man around you. Mm. Oh well, uh, I believe that um, with time you get to know him. And you see for yourself that he is not evil. Not at all. I hope so. Um, uh, now is the time for us to perfect all that we have planned. Mm -hmm. This is the time for us to perfect it. So that's why I have told you. Let's. Mm -hmm. You are right. But how do we get it to materialize? Ichi. We already have three girls penciled down for this job. So we only need to bring them in. Uh, there might be changes to those plans. There might be changes. In fact, there have to be changes to those plans. <laughs> how, how do you mean? Uh, you see, we need to look at those girls holistically. You understand? Each of them. I don't understand what that means. You see, we need girls that will operate with us at the same frequency, you know, at the same level. They have to vibrate at the same frequency that we vibrate. You understand? So that whatever we want them to do, they will be ready and willing to do it at the time we want them to do it. These are the girls we need for this job. Eh? I, I now understand what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. yes. You see, because along the line, eh, we may decide to go wired or even diabolical. You understand? And uh, the, whoever we are using must be ready and willing to mm, go along with us. It's a no no. You have a point. Why not? Yeah. So, but uh, how many guests are we looking at? Two or three guests should do. Two or three. Uh, but I thought we already have uh, a particular girl in mind. Uh, we are thinking along that line. But uh, you know, we, we don't have to put all our eggs in one basket. Yeah? <laughs> so when you have a plan A, you must have plan B, even C. Exactly. Yeah? Nkaga don't kaga. Is aga gegene? Was aga? That is it. That is good. So I think, um, in actual fact, we have to get the girls ready before the king will now choose the maiden for the marriage. I am working on that. The guests, as a matter of fact, will be with us in our next meeting. <laughs> They'll be oh my, here. Oh my God. Let me take some. Oh, you cheers. You cheers. You cheers. You You cheers. You Ada, let's go straight to why I am here. You see, I've not told you what you did to the king to love you like this. <laughs> Joy, you've started the game. No? Well, I did nothing. It's not true, Ada. Come on. We have beautiful and classy girls dying for the king. But the king chose to love you. Ada, you're telling me it's ordinary. Mm -mm -mm. I, don't be, I don't believe you on this one. I don't believe you at all. Joyce, what are you trying to insinuate? So you are trying to tell me that I am not beautiful enough for the king. Dada, you are beautiful. Well, all I can say is that um, the king is God's gift to me. That is all I can say. Do you know why I'm asking you this? Why? There is this guy asking me out. This, is... this guy is cute. He has money. But the girls won't allow him to concentrate. I've been to his house in three different occasions. I met three different girls. That is just the problem. It's a red flag, my sister. You don't need such guy. Please, don't go there. Ada, this guy loves me. And I'm falling in love with him too. But the problem I'm having right now is the girl 
running around him. That is just my problem. Then you have to pray. <laughs> Hello. I do go. Okay, Kima. At the moment, my king. I trust you're doing well. Yes, my king. And you? Uh, well, I'm okay. I'm here. Running the affairs of the palace, as usual. Um, I do go. I would like for you to come to the palace this weekend. If you have the time, of course. That is because I want to introduce you to um, the elders in council and also my family members. Yes, my king. I, I will. I will be free. Uh, that is good to know. Uh, thank you very much for obliging me. <laughs> I do. Okay, so um, I'm going to tell um, the chief driver of the palace to come get you. Huh? Okay, my king. Thank you very much. So tell me, um, what are you doing for the rest of the day? My king, I'm at the shop. A friend visited and um, I'm just having a discussion with her. Is that so? Yes. Okay, let me allow you. Uh, have some time with your friend. Oh, okay, my king. Thank you very much. We'll talk again. Bye. Bye bye. He's inviting you over to the palace, right? How did you know? Come on, Ada. I saw it in your response. My dear friend, I am happy for you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank Congrats. you. My princess, welcome. Thank you, Anna. I didn't even know you were coming. Um, it's it's urgent, so I had to I had to rush down. Okay, so what if you did not meet me at home? I would have waited for you. Are you serious? Yes. Of course, that's how serious it is. Yee. Welcome. You're welcome. So, what do I offer you? We have orange, mango. I don't know if Udara is still remaining. I'm only, like I said, you don't worry. I'm good, okay? I'm all right. Are you sure? If I wanted it, you know I would I would have said so. Okay. <laughs> welcome. Okay, um, let me go straight to why I came. Okay. Um... There is something very serious I want us to talk about. Okay. You know, I have always told you that that I see you as the next queen of Isionyenato kingdom. My princess. My princess, you always said that to me, but I've always considered it to be a joke. Well, Angoli, it is not a joke. Because my dream is about to come through. How? Good. My brother, the king, is about to remarry. And um, I want you to be my brother's wife. Me? Yes, I am. My princess. Mm -hmm. Are you joking? Do I look like I'm joking? Rather, the question is, Anoli, will you marry the king? <laughs> My princess, you know I like your brother. I like your brother so much. And I would like to be his wife if if he will look at me. Then consider it done. Well, that is all that matters. The most important thing is you like him. Now you have to start putting yourself together because soon I will introduce you to him. My princess. Is this real? Mm. It is real, my darling. And it's happening now. Um, we have to make 
this discussion as um, simple and quick as possible so that you may ask questions or that is if you have any questions to ask. No problem, sir. I'm listening. Good. How would you feel if you are to become the wife of the king of Isuyenato Kingdom? It wouldn't be a bad idea, my respected elders. Good. We want you to marry him. That is if you want to. Of course I want. But my question is, why me? You have the qualities of a queen, my dear. That is number one. The second thing is that we know you can handle the weirdness that might arise in the process of achieving this goal. You sound like you know me so much. <laughs> you see, we didn't just set it for you. We ran a background check first about you. Mm. You men do strange things. That is why we are men. Eh? Uh, any man who cannot trigger and sustain strange things is not a man. In fact, he's not worthy of that appellation, man. I'm fully in. Good. Good. Um, uh, I want you to understand something. Uh, for every good idea, there is always an ulterior motive. Yeah? I hope you know that. Yes, I do. But I would like to know what you want in all this. Beautiful. I will let you know. You see, we want to control the affairs of royalty in Isuyenato Kingdom. Yes, we want to become major stakeholders in royalty here in this kingdom. Now that I know what you want, I'll do it for you. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So the case is closed. <laughs> uh, is, um, I think we should commence the process immediately. Not yet. Why not? We have to take an oath to seal this agreement within us. is my name. Sorry about that. So you're coming now from here. You live around here? No. I came to see Iche Zenunu and his friends. Really? Yeah, to have a lovely day. Obwefi. It's a foolish man that thinks he's wiser than what could she be doing with this evil man? I just hope it's not what I'm thinking. Anyway, it's none of my business. Give me water to drink. Water. Mm. Wash the cup very well now. Mama, welcome. Oh, 
So, how did the meeting go? You see the meeting? <laughs> what happened today, eh? Oh, bro, you hate your neck. You hate your neck. Has always been a troublemaker. It took us two good hours to settle the fight she started before the meeting begins today. Ha! You hate your neck again. Eh? I got what wrong with you, Mama. So who did she fight this time? <laughs> it's not who she fought. Though. She fought virtually everybody to that meeting. And a boy on a dosan e kiri. Koye wuma di se. Mama, it's madness. Madness, my dear. <laughs> Forget it, Jirika. You said there is something important you want us to talk about. Mwa, Come and sit down. Mama, I'm fine here. Fine. There is something the princess told me. The princess? What could that be? She said that she wants her brother the king to marry me. Chelo? No, now. It's not true. <laughs> this is too good to be true. The same thing I said when she mentioned it to me. But as the discussion progressed, I found out that she meant it. Chelo? Are you serious? Tell me, what did you tell her? Ha! Mama, I need to be hanging away with you. Tell me now, Kamalu! I told her that I would like to marry the king. You see? You call her friend? Eh? She now said she would take me to go and see him. Hey! You macho! No go in! Emego no kama! That means... Very soon, I will answer the mother of law. No, 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 no. Even if I'm eh? That This is what I want. Hey, we're going to law. Now, so I'm going to give you one. That place will fit you. Listen, why are you joking me? Did you see that? What? And he just walked into the princess's private living room. Is that one a new thing? It's not. What? Does that mean he has been going there? It's a day-to-day -day activity, okay? Just that I don't know what they do behind closed doors. Are you saying he chops the princess? I didn't say that, okay? But... It is what it is. I mean, Andy is a man. That means the princess has no class. How could she descend so good to be sleeping with an ordinary guard? Hold it. Andy in all round is a matured man. Okay? He's neat, coordinated, presentable. I mean, it is the princess's choice. The king will be disappointed in her. Can you just cut this thing? You said Andy entered the princess's chamber, right? Yes. Let's go. I need to hear the princess marching. Once again, happy birthday, Andy. Thank you, my princess. I wish you all the best in life. Um, here, these are for you. Wow. Wow. Inside one of these bags, you will find the sum of 50,000 naira. 50,000 naira. And every other thing inside is yours. Thank you, my princess. You're so kind. Thank you. Oh Thank you so much. Andy, you are a very loyal and faithful servant. You deserve everything that is coming to you and even more. Thank you, my princess. Thank you so much. And also, I have asked the chef to bake a cake for you. Wow. There will be a celebration of your birthday later today once the cake is ready. Oh. Thank you so much, my princess. You should stop thanking me, Andy. Like I said, you deserve this and more. Okay? Thank you so much. Take your gifts and Thank go. Thank you so much. <laughs> 
Thank you once more, Princess. Andy, just keep being good, okay? Thank you, my Princess. You're welcome. Thank you. But why did it take the king too long to remarry? Come on, Ella, it's just six months. Six months is not just a rumor. People like you make things difficult. I mean, the man just lost his wife and he needs to mourn her properly. I am not against the king mourning his wife properly. But moving on is where the problem lies. As you can see, Ella, the king is already moving on with another lady. So, there is no cause for alarm. I honestly pitied the king during the period of mourning his wife. How? You know, as a man, that blood runs through his veins. He needed something soft to do away with the death of his wife. You're right, Ella. The king has self-control and that is why I like him. You know, one night, I decided to go to his room to be with him. <laughs> what is it? You did what? Erima, I am being honest with you. Eh? But just by his doorside, I saw the, the princess and I diverted immediately. Ella, you have a problem. You have a serious problem. Wait, Erima, I don't understand. Am I not a woman being? Look at me. Wait, don't I look good for the king? Please excuse me. Kwati Chanka. Be with the king. In each in our moral. Mr. Zodima, I put you in charge of that company because I trust you. I believe in your level of competence. I put you in charge of that company because you are a tested and trusted hand. You're an alumni of the same business school that I attended. I put you in charge of that company because I trust that you will be conscious of your name and not run that business aground. If you have to call me every day to give me updates when it concerns decision making, why then have I put you in charge? Ah, uh, Mr. Zalimo. <laughs> I'll have to call you back later. The bright morning star of our family just stepped in. And I cannot keep the princess waiting. Yes. I am what sort of. I can see you're busy, brother. Yes, that was me sorting with Tuzadima out. He calls me almost every day to give me updates uh, on what's happening with the company. I put in his hands. Sometimes it's tiring, you know. Do you have a problem with the constant goals? I have a problem with the concept of work delegation being toyed with. You know, if he has to call me every minute, then the essence of delegation is lost. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't you think so? True. You're right. What's on your mind? There's a lot in your eyes. I can see through you. Is he be married? Is he one of his union at all? I knew it. I know you want something. Jelly Moko, much like him, my dearest brother. Okay, what do you want? I am so proud of you. I am. Thank you. But, brother. I have come to find out if you have a maiden in mind. Yes, I do. Really? <laughs> Who is she? Her name is Adugo. Um, why 
where is Aduko from and who are her parents? I see you have questions. But I have good news for you. She'll be here in a few days. Then you can have a conversation with her one on one and I ask all the questions that you want to ask. I see. <laughs> so when exactly is she coming? Weekend. Interesting. That means we have um, we have to give her a bit of royal welcome. As we should. Do you want me to tell you that you have to notify me first before coming to my house? I tried calling, but you didn't pick. So I decided to come. I don't like it. Simple courtesy demands that you notify me before coming to my house. Okay. I'm sorry about that. Okay? What do you want? I brought a gift. I don't want your gift. Then you're still angry with me. I am not. Then accept my gift. Listen, is it by force to accept your gift? Eh? I do not want your gift. So when you are done standing here, you leave! Rubbish. My no, Rita. You gift for me. My love. How else am I going to explain to her that I'm sorry about what happened? Eh? Anureka? Honey? Bebum? Andy, your cake is ready. Wow, thank you, my princess. You're welcome. Do you know the king has chosen a wife for himself? No, my princess. Yes, he has. And I want you to find out if this said girl is related to Wavy Irodike in any way. I will do that with ease, my princess. And I also want you to find out everything about this girl. Who her parents are. Her friends. What she does for a living. Everything about this girl. I will do that, my princess. Thank you. You're welcome, my princess. When should I expect a report from you? By the end of today. I will give you a complete report about that, my princess. Thank you. You're welcome, my princess. You can go now. Thank you, my princess. And Andy. My princess. The king will be celebrating your birthday with you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, my princess. Thank you. Thank you. You can go.
good afternoon. How are you, my son? <sighs> Mama, I'm not fine. Eh? What is wrong with you? Mama, Anorika is my problem. She's still, she's still angry with me. No, that is not true. I've spoken with Angorika extensively on that, and she has promised me that she has let go. Oh, no, Mama. Mama, she told me the same thing, but she's not acting it. What did she do? I went to see her, and she did not even care to give me a seat to sit down. Why? She said I, I, I visited with her pre her. Uh, but um, you should have called her before going to see her now. Over on your job. Mama, I called her more than 10 times and she did not pick my calls. Oh. So I was like, maybe something bad has happened. You were just busy fear. Well, there. Oh, um, don't know. Don't worry. When I get to the house now, eh, I will talk to her. Narurana, oh. I'm oh, Mama. Oh, I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, I appreciate oh, it, Mama. Um, uh, I love Anureka so much. Mm. And I want to make her my wife as soon as possible. Hey, so bad. When you see her, tell her you love her, not uh, me. Mama. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mama, Mama, eh? Let me drop you off now. No, 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 don't worry. I bought a bunch of plantain and I forgot it at the market. I need to go back to the market to bring it. Eh? Don't worry, Mama. Oh, okay. we'll see you later. <laughs> Who amongst you will be in charge of the catering this weekend? It's me, my king. I'll be having an important guest this weekend. It is very important that you give her a royal welcome. But most importantly, I'd like for you to prepare her a royal dish. We will be at our best, Your Majesty. Would you be needing anything to make this a success? My king, we have all we need. I will not accept anything other than the best. We will deliver, my king. I can trust you, eh? Yes, yes my king. king. I still insist there is no need to involve another girl. Uh, listen, uh, there is need for it. There is every need for it. Yeah, we can't afford to make mistakes, otherwise our dreams will be shattered. Hey! I... With the discussion we had with Abegeri, I agree with him, Nana. All we need to do is to fortify Abegeri, and she can do the work. Both of you are not seeing what I am seeing. Yeah? The battle ahead is tough. Very, very tough. And if, if, I mean, we can't afford to make mistakes. I mean, to win this battle, we must have viable alternatives. That is it. So, so what is keeping her? Uh, well, she'll soon be here, don't worry. Uh, from all indication, I understand that you know this game, you know what you're doing. <laughs> all we need to do is just to follow your lead. <laughs> that is it. Now you are talking, eh? Now listen, just trust me on this. This one, trust me, we will smile at the end of the day. Eh? We will smile at the end of the day. This is Ichenu. <laughs> Ichenu, that's it. Uh, I, I guess uh, she's the one knocking. Uh, come in, please. Greetings, my elders. Oh, well, uh, but you kept us waiting. Why? I'm so sorry about that. Please, I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay, so let's get that to you. Sit down. Okay, thank you very much. So, just accept that you're wrong. Period. Mama, I didn't do anything wrong. Eh? I mean, why would JT come into this house without my knowledge? Why? But well, he said he called you and you refused to pick your call. The reason he shouldn't have come here in the first place. I don't want to have anything to do with him again or by force. Ha! Are you still angry with him? To be honest with you, Mama, I am still very much angry with him. Eh? Can you imagine? Oh, you told me you have forgiven him. Mama, I have forgiven him. But I cannot forget. Hey! Here, JT, Mama, I cannot forget. I can't. I can't forget. 
tell this young man to his face that you don't want him again than this your hide and seek game. Mama Biko Kai Patozo. Let's discuss. Let's talk about this one. Let's deal with this one once and for all. Mama. I don't want to have anything to do with JT again. It is over. I have moved on. Let him do same. Come in. This is my princess. You have news for me? Yes, my princess. Speak. Her name is Adogo. She's from this kingdom. Her parents are late. She is a tailor by profession. For my findings, um, she's from a good home. What is the name of her late father? Chief Ugochinere Ifekumelu Dike. Her father was an unknown to my grandfather. Yes, my princess. I see. Thank you very much, Andy. You're welcome, my princess. You may go. Thank you, my princess. Um, you all know that I am not the birthday type. But you see, my sister, the princess, has dragged me out here for a very good reason. To honor one who has proven to be a loyal servant. Andy, step forward a little. That's it. Look at him. <laughs> it's a day to day. Uh, <laughs> and you're grinning ear to ear. Um, Andy, you came in here as a kid when my father, the late Ifadi Kamwane, was king of Isionyanato. And even after he passed on, you remained loyal. You stayed with us. And now, look at you. You have grown. And we are proud of you. I love you. My sister loves you. And that is why we're celebrating you today. You are indeed a loyal servant. And we wish you nothing but the best. And we say a very big happy birthday to you. Thank you. Happy and for being a loyal servant, I have decided to increase your pay by 50%. Yes. My father once told me that the best way to appreciate one that has done very well is to give them more work. Uh, and for that reason, I have decided to promote you from just a palace guard to my personal servant. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. So, yeah. It is safe to say that you're my PA now. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> Thank you. My personal assistant. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. I pray that you shall experience more love, more fulfillment. See. See. The rest of your day is here. See. Um, I want you to celebrate with your peers. Thank you, sir. It's your day. Make it as fun and as memorable as you can. Thank you, Your Majesty. Huh? I love you from a special place in my heart. And I hope that those that came after you would learn what loyalty means from you. Okay, uh, thank you. I believe my work is done here. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, enjoy yourselves. Thank you so much, brother, for honoring my invitation. And I'm sure Andy here is grateful and he appreciates this I am sure. so much. I am yes, sure he's grateful. I will work harder for the betterment of this palace and the kingdom at large. <laughs> I trust you. Thank Have fun. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, I believe everyone is excited. Yes. <laughs> Let's say congratulations to Andy. Congratulations. <laughs> so, this is now the new PA, personal assistant to the king. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Andy, congratulations. Congrats. Okay. Congratulations. Right, let's move in. <clears throat> Everyone, grab a call. Um, 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 hold on, hold on. Chinasa. 
Because Always the busy one. <laughs> okay, um, before we move on, we would cut the cake and sing a happy birthday song for Andy. Okay? At the spelling of love, Andy, you will cut your cake. Love which signifies the love we all have for you here. You are loved, Andy, and I want you to always remember that, okay? Thank you, Your Majesty. Erima, now you can open the cake. Okay, my friend. is in love with Andy. I don't think so. And that's because you have eyes, but you cannot use them to see. The princess is only being nice to the poor guard. <laughs> Jane, I am surprised you cannot see what is happening right under your nose. Listen, the princess is a lively person, okay? On my birthday, <laughs> Both of you witnessed it that she gifted me a wristwatch. I know. And that was because your father personally told her to take good care of you while you served in the palace. Oh, honestly, I don't think that what the princess displayed back there is just being nice. Something is attached to it. <laughs> you know what? Both of you are entitled to your own opinions, okay? <laughs> Well, you are right, but it's just one day. One faithful day. The truth will come to light. Let's go. You didn't tell us you were having an affair with the princess. Wait, what do you mean? What kind of a question is that? Because I do not understand what you guys are talking about. Can you please shed more light? I don't understand. Andy, didn't you see what the princess did back there? He dragged the king to attend your birthday. Have you ever seen the king attend anyone's birthday? See, bro, all I can say is this, you're too much. But in all you do, remember me in your kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> can you just stop this madness already? Can you just stop all this nonsense already? How is it even possible for me to get the princess? She's just been nice to me. Please, turn down that nonsense down. Will, will you stop this, this, nice. this, this talk, Joe? See, let me tell you. We are all guys. We know what they happen for this palace. Exactly. And just so you know, one thing about a woman who is in love is that she can never, never hide her feelings. Mom, <laughs> I am totally disappointed in all of you. How is it even possible for me to date the princess? How? Are you guys thinking at all? Bros, calm down. Leave that in. What makes you think is not possible? 
Will the princess get herself pregnant? Oh, yeah. I don't know. She needs a man like Andy to do the job. Exactly! Oh. <laughs> now I can see that you guys need to get your head checked. You're all sick. Huh? Get back to your jobs. See, see. Every information you would need is already provided. Hmm? Um, your job is to drive the lady to the palace carefully. Well understood, Your Majesty. I want you to know that the lady in question is very important to me. So I need you to be very careful. I will be at my best, Your Majesty. I've never disappointed you. I hope I didn't keep you waiting for so long. No, 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 not at all. Um, why did you request to see me? <sighs> Anoreka is giving me a headache. What did she do? She's still angry with me. That's not possible. I talked to her myself, and she told me convincingly that she has forgiven you. <laughs> she was lying to you. Yes. She has not forgiven me anything. So tell me, what exactly did she do this time? I went to see her at her place, but she walked me out. What? How would she do such a thing to you? Ijoma, please help me talk to her. I love her Norika so much and I want to make her my wife as soon as possible. She means the whole wide world to me. It's okay. I will talk to her. I believe she'll have a change of mind. She's my friend. Hmm. I know how to handle her. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It's a foolish man that thinks he's wiser than the dark. He's young and I thought, hey, oh. I don't never see no good than uh, like we discussed, eh? uh, we have to follow it up. Because that girl must not live in the palace. Or might be there. She will not. Huh? If she only knows what is coming, she wouldn't have accepted marrying the king. <laughs> I really pity that girl. <laughs> uh, listen, we'll deal with her until of own volition she runs away from the palace. Yes, yes. listen to me. <laughs> I've learned that, but I've laid out my plans. Yeah? <laughs> one after the other. One after the other. No, no, no. Yeah? <laughs> no, no. Yeah? <laughs> Until she. Huh? I hear you also. Oh, I wasn't. <laughs> I hear you also. <laughs> I hear you also. Who is she? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, let's go before. Hey, yeah. That, yeah. You, that you are no woofer. That, that you are no know. <laughs> Your Majesty. Greetings to you too. Greetings, our respected elders of our land. Huh? Elders in council of you, It gladdens my heart to present to you today 
Adu daughter of late Ugochiye, Ifu Kumela. She is the one that I have chosen to make my wife. Wait. Is it Ugochiye, the local government worker? Absolutely. Wow. My dear, you're welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, and uh, no. Thank you very much, sir. She's beautiful. And I believe she'll make a good wife for the king. We don't need a prophet to tell us that. <laughs> Adugo, once again, you're welcome to the palace. Feel free to ask any question. She looks so beautiful. I know the king will not go for anything less. We don't need to be told that the king has eyes for good things. Well, well, well. Let's just pray that she lives up to the expectations. Listen, you know, sometimes physical look is not a problem. Character is the determinant. I mean, it's character that makes one a good queen, not by physical look. She looks humble. And I know that is one of the reasons the king chose her. But honestly, me looking at her, she, she, you know, one doesn't need to be told that she can make a good queen for the king. Fingers crossed, and I pray, and I wish her luck yes. that she stays. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, so hey, hey, hey guys, we are having a, a, a new queen too. Yes. So. Yes. Let's do all things. And the gossip needs to be understood. <laughs> Ijoma, if you're here to talk to me about JT, I am sorry I will not listen to you. You're taking this too far. Am I? Oh, you mean you're going to sit down here and act all judgmental over something you know nothing about? Why are you doing this? You told me you've forgiven him. Yes, I have forgiven him. But I cannot forget what that idiot did to me. Idiot, you say? Come on, girl. He is not the only guy that has cheated in a relationship. What did you just say? Why do I have a feeling as if you're trying to justify what he did? No, baby girl. I totally condemn his action. I condemn what he did. But you can't keep reminding him that he cheated on you every day. Let it go and make it a thing of the past. And that is exactly where I have kept him. In the past. Come on, girl. This guy loves you. And he has proven that beyond every reasonable doubt. <laughs> And not feature porn again, no. Is this what you call love? Eh? And yet he cheated on me. Maroko go get more biko. It's a mistake. I want you to understand that part. It's a mistake, and he is not above mistake. Listen, I am done discussing JT with you. Go back to him and tell him that I said it is over between us. Popish. Every time jitty, 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 jitty. I not do again. I do go. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you too for inviting me. You're welcome. I invited you here because I need to know when you want me to come see your people so that we can kickstart the process. Our traditional marriage. Your Majesty, you can just pick a date and I will talk to my parents about it. Uh, 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 okay, Savior. That's not how it's done. I am the one visiting and not the other way around, so they would have to pick a date. Eh? <laughs> but you are the king. I am the king, a custodian of our tradition. I cannot do things eh? the other way around. I am the king, but it would be impolite of me to budge in on your family. Huh? Tell them to pick a date. And I promise you that whatever dates they pick, I am going to work with. Greetings, Your Majesty. Uh, I'll wait for you. You're welcome. I greet you. Your Majesty, I desire to speak to you alone. 
please, eh? Excuse us. Your Majesty, it's obvious you've made your choice of wife in her. Oh yes, I have. In that case, first things first. You have to set the process of making uh, your wife in motion. Secondly and most importantly, you have to intimate her on the ritual of uh, acceptance. A process where she will be connected to the spirits of all the queens that ever lived before her mm -hmm. in Isi Yonato Kingdom. Once this is done, she will be able to ascend the throne as the Queen Mother of this wonderful kingdom. Of course I know that. Right. <laughs> I assure you that very soon we shall set the ball rolling as regards um, the traditional marriage. Oh, yes. um, I am going to talk to her about the ritual and revert to you. Um, it is okay. That will be all for now. I'll be waiting. Darling. Your Majesty, I have to be on my way now. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, greetings. Greetings, my dear. How are you? I'm fine. My name is Adugo, but you can call me Ada. Okay, my name is Jane. What a nice name for a beautiful maiden. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I want to take a walk around the palace. Please, can you show me around? Why not? I'm at your service. <laughs> no, you're not. I don't get it. Why? Because I am not yet the queen. And even if I become the queen, we will operate as equals. You sound like the late queen because that is exactly how she treated us. Because that is the right way to treat people. Can we go now? Sure. No, 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 no. no. Let's take this one. Oh, okay. Thank you. What am I going to tell Anrika? I made her believe the king was going to marry her. How do I keep my mouth in explaining this? I never saw this coming, honestly. I didn't see this coming. This is the most difficult and confused state of my life. How do I explain this? Adugo! Adugo, who is here? Adugo! Hey! 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 Who we have here? <laughs> Toma! <laughs> Did you travel? No. Though I've been in door for some days now. I thought as much. No wonder I've not seen you for some time now. I'm in this village, you. I didn't get anywhere. I'm around. You look good. Come. <laughs> yeah. oh, yes. oh, anyway, I wanted to see um, Adugo. I want her to make some dress for me. My dear friend, you will not believe who Ada went to see. Who? She went to see the king. The king? Mm. Come down, come down. You didn't commit any crime. Not at all. The king wants to marry her. Huh? She has gone to the palace to be introduced to the king's cabinet. <laughs> wow! So very soon Adugo will become the queen of this kingdom. You can say that again. <laughs> Anyways, I'm happy for her. I'm this is the good news. I have to go now. When Adugo comes hmm. out, I'll come back. No problem. I'll bring the dress for her. <laughs> Nice seeing you. Oh, child! You're very busy. My so. friend, my friend. Yeah, join the oh, child! <laughs> All right, we'll see you later, eh? I will tell her that you, you came, eh? The question now is how do we take care of her? That is not a problem, eh? I'm already, I will take care of the situation. It's nothing. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Maybe you should tell us how you intend to do it. 
and what you intend to do. Recently. Listen, the agreement is to frustrate her out of the palace. Right? Mm -hmm. That is exactly what I am going to do. In fact, I'm already on it. But how long will it take her to be kicked out of the palace? Uh, the movement starts this night. See, please, time is of essence here. Give us time frame. How long? Um, I guess two weeks. Two weeks, yeah, she's out of the palace. Two weeks. I, I think that's fair enough. That's fair enough. That's fair. That's a good one. Please. Immediately she steps out of the palace, our guests will move in. So that we don't experience this type of thing again. Yes. As a matter of fact, our girls are standing by. Yeah? They're only waiting for instructions. <clears throat> they are there. Yeah? Once you get the other, they are there. So, uh, it's not too old. Yeah? Because in my uh, <laughs> I am each Zen. When Zen speaks, he has spoken. Yeah? And I always get what I go for. Except I don't go for it. <laughs> Let me get us something to uh, Oh my Zen, trust me. Let me get you something to do. You sent for me. Yes, said. Greetings, my princess. Greetings, my princess. I am what to do. Brother. This is Adugo. The one I told you about. I called you out here so that the both of you can get properly acquainted. Okay. Adugo. Your Majesty. This is my only sister. I call her Anya Wototo. The bright morning star of Isio Yanato. I love her so dearly. Given the fact that you're going to become one of us very soon, I thought it wise to call her out so that the both of you can get properly acquainted. Huh? I'll excuse the both of you so that you can talk. Okay, Your Majesty. <laughs> All right, brother. Greetings, greetings, Sergeant Grace. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm good, as you can see. <laughs> so once again, you're welcome to the family, okay? Thank you very much. It's very simple. You don't have to do much. All you have to do is be a good wife to my brother. And he will make you the happiest woman on earth. Certainly I will. You promise? Trust my heart. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Come here. Give me a hug. Mm. Who is after you? Why are you running like that? You won't believe what I heard. What did you hear? I heard the king is getting married to a duke, they tell her. My friend, stop it. Uh-uh. What kind of talk is this? The princess told me herself that she will introduce me to the king very soon. So what are you talking about? Maybe the princess was only seeing you now. Eh? As we speak, listen to me. Eh? Introduction between the king and Adugo to the men in council is going on in the palace. Ha. IJ. IJ, please. If this is a joke, just stop it now. Stop it. It is not a joke. Eh? My dear friend, if you want to verify it, you can actually call the princess yourself to confirm it. On this sacred AK market day, I pray for the men and women 
of my land. I pray that the things they will eat shall continue to come to them. And the things that will eat them will never come to them. They shall continue to be like tomorrow, but tomorrow has no end. I banish sorrow from the midst of my people. If anyone must shed tears, it must be tears of joy. The young shall grow to ripe age, and the aged amongst us shall join our ancestors peacefully. I hereby banish every spirit that triggers marital disputes. On the sacredness of this offer, I hereby declare and decree that wives shall not kill their husbands and husbands will not kill their wives. The barren amongst us shall be fruitful and the fruitful would never lack the means they need to raise their young ones. I pray for love, I pray for good health, I pray for unity, I pray for long life, peace and prosperity on all of us for the rest of our lives and so shall it be on a king. On Orie, on Alpha, and on what? Thank you for your patience. Greatly, Miss Gregson. Of course, you know I can do anything for the good of this kingdom. Tell me, tell me. My princess, I've always known that you, you've always doubted my loyalty to the throne and to the kingdom. But with time, you would know where my loyalty truly lies. Talking about where your loyalty lies, it's not why I asked you to stay back. And so why did you ask me to stay back? What do you think about the Lady Adunko? Do you think she will make a good wife to my brother, the King? My princess, I don't know about that. How, how do I know it? Well, you just saw her an hour ago. Yes, I saw her an hour ago. But I'm not a seer who has the gift of telling what people will become in the future. I don't have that gift. Obuefi Rudike, you don't need to pretend. Everyone in this kingdom knows you are fetish and diabolic. With all due respect, my princess, you don't even know me. If you know me, you wouldn't be saying this. I don't need to know you. If I want to know you, I will know everything about you. What I know is that you have no reason to have invited me here. And I beg to take my leave. Wait.
I do not have a problem with that. But I know you know that deep down, I have said something crucial. Something that touches your heart. Every time your hand is shaking, do you always plug your hand where you should where you should not put That is not your business. <laughs> are you going out? Uh, of course. I'm going out. Yes. Where are you going? As a matter of fact, I'm going to <clears throat> see the boys that are working on my site. Oh. Uh, that came at the wrong time now. Uh, no, not really. No, 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 no. Uh, about the girl. Yes. Ah, listen. I already planted the smoke of set aside. Eh? <laughs> Very soon, she'll be kicked out of the palace. Bam, really? <laughs> yeah, nah. Really? Uh, I you know we cannot, we can always trust you. Uh -uh. I told you. <laughs> you can say that again. Let me tell you something. There is no way she can escape the spell she inhaled last night. <laughs> oh, cool, yeah, cool. Babiko, <laughs> do you mind telling us what this spell is all about? <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> you don't want to know about that. <laughs> yes, yes, no, no. This, man, no, no. this man, eh? Yes, no, no. <laughs> Please, eh? why don't you walk down to my set? Eh? There is a woman I asked to bring me some palm wine. Hey, yeah. What are friends for? Yeah. Uh, without pleasure. I, got, I, you, I know you. Are a <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. go. Your Majesty. I am deeply sorry, Lizzie, for keeping you waiting. I. No, it's okay. You can sit down. Thank you, Your Majesty. I had this um, business meeting that um, needed my attention on the phone, so I had to quickly take care of that. But I'm here now. Um, please, oh. go ahead. Thank you, Your Majesty. Adugo, first of all. I want to say congratulations to you as the chosen one. Thank you very much, Uwefi Rudike. You're welcome. Now, as the queen-elect, so to say, 
you will be made to undergo a process that is called the ritual of connection with the ancestors of the land. Hold it right there, old man. What did you just say? I, Adugo, we do what? No, no, no. Don't misunderstand me. It's not the kind of ritual that you know. Listen, this is a ritual that is deeply rooted in our culture as a people. And we cannot do without it. Please, please, don't, don't even try it. Don't patronize me with this tale. Ritual is ritual. I do not partake in your tradition. Now tell me, why do you want to get me entangled in your rituals? My king! Why do you want to get me entangled in your rituals? Adugo, calm down. Calm down. Please. When you do not understand something, then it has a power to upset you. But I need you to trust me and trust the process. He told me about it. I gave him the go-ahead to have this conversation with you. So please, calm down and let him finish. No, my king, I will never let him finish. Already he has said what you both want from me. I will never go through any ritual process. Not today. Not tomorrow. Never! Hey! Your Majesty, a woman that is not even married yet, Walking out on the king? Your Majesty, you will talk with her. But that will not dilute the fact that she has been recorded in the annals of history as a Tufiakwa. May the gods forbid! But with you, this happened here. With just you and I in my living room. No one else knows about it. But with you, I would like for it to remain that way. Hmm? Please, let me talk to her. To fear what? Many gods forbid. To fear what? Many, many gods forbid. To fear what? Many gods forbid. This is rubbish. They must be joking by thinking that I, Adugo, will undergo any form of ritual process because I want to get married to the king. Never. Will never do it. To never happen. Nonsense. Adigo. It was very wrong of you to walk out on me and each year the king the way that you did. Where that man said what I don't want to hear. And the only way to let him know that he is talking rubbish is to walk out on him. That singular act of yours is an insult to me, the king of Isio Yenato. And also an insult to the prestigious Zenozo institution of Igbo land. A way for Rudike that you had just walked out on is not only the essence of Isio Yenato, he is also the authority that initiates new members into that prestigious institution. You do not have what it takes to work out on a man of that caliber, Adoko. Well, I'm sorry I didn't say it that way. That apology should be for a wavy, you ready again, not me. Under no circumstance will I apologize to that man. I won't. You will apologize to him. I do go. Nalani. Adugo. What we're asking you to do is not evil or diabolic like you think. It is a ritual process that enables you to become the queen of Isio Yenato. Really? I guess he sent you to cajole me into that diabolic act. Well, go back and tell him that I will never do it. I do. I am the king of Isio Yenato. 
a first class custodian of our culture and tradition. No one can cajole me. It's obvious. I speak the truth. I talk about the tenets of our tradition. Getting married to me and being my wife and becoming the queen of Isun Yenato are two different things. They are worlds apart. He has briefed you. It is so obvious that he has briefed you. Well, like I said, I will never do it. I do go. We're saying what we're saying to you so that you can prepare your mind. And I also understand that this ritual will be carried out immediately after our marriage. We're not asking you to do it immediately, no. Whether now or in future, my king, I said I would never do it. Your Majesty, I have already accepted my new faith. And I cannot do that which I already rejected. I can't. It's against my fate. Please. Please, just... My dearest friend, how do you feel? My princess, you do not need a soothsayer to tell you that I I'm not happy. Family, you have to stop. You have to be fine. How am I supposed to be fine, my princess? You gave me high hopes that the king will marry me. Now that hope is dashed. Where do I go from here? Family, please, I am sorry. I am sorry. I, I didn't know my brother had his own plans. Oh, you would I, have... Verified before telling me. That is a big mistake on my own part. And once again, Angoli, I am truly sorry. I am deeply sorry. Why me? Why me? God. God, why? Angoli, why please, me? Please, can you stop? This is not the end of the world. Oh, to me, stop. it is the end of the world. Why would you even say a thing like this? Who knows? Maybe my brother might still marry you. How is that even possible? Are you wishing your brother a polygamous home? You know I wouldn't support my brother to marry two wives. You know I will never do such a thing. I don't think he still wants to marry me. Listen. I may sound very optimistic, but I, I have the strong conviction that you will be my brother's wife. But I don't know how it will happen, and that is why I am doing everything I'm doing. Just do stop! Stop it! Just stop deceiving me! Stop it! Angoli, you know I will never deceive you. I am telling you how I feel. And I am telling you right now that that your feeling is wrong and it will never materialize. Can you try and be optimistic a little? And I will never say a say to those words that just came out of your mouth.
Your Majesty, what did she tell you? She's still insisting on not um, performing the ritual. Who does she think she's getting married to? An ordinary man? If she must know she's getting married to the custodian of the Ofo of Yenato Kingdom, and for her to be interwoven in marriage with such a man, she must be part and parcel of our tradition. You know it, Your Majesty. All of these things I have explained to her. And she is still not ready for it? Your Majesty, if she is not ready to submit, I am afraid you have to look elsewhere. <laughs> Rudike, relax. It has not come to that yet. Uh... Your Majesty, I can ignore the sacrilege of our walking out on you. That is because the king himself has decided to forgive her. And that ends it. But on the issue of her becoming the wife of the custodian of the four official United Kingdom, she must submit to the spirits that will connect her to her ancestors. That is our tradition. Your Majesty, you know it. It is the tradition. Awefi. I understand how you feel. I understand your position on this matter. But I implore you to please give me time. I promise you by the end of tomorrow, at most, you'll hear from me. Hmm? You are the king. Your word is law. I beg to take my leave, Your Majesty. It's a foolish man that thinks he's wiser than the God. It's young and I thought, hey, oh. I don't ever see no good than you. What are you doing here all by yourself? Ogin? Angolika! Wait, you are crying. What is it? Why are you crying? Mama came in. Oh. What is in Keme? Oh. I'm finished, Mama. You're finished? Yeah. What's finished you? Mama. Eh? Mama, the king has married another woman. <sighs> that is not possible. See, the king has married another woman. It is true, Mama. It is true. Tell me. But you told me that the princess has showed you that the king was going to marry you. Is it me? It is true. That was what she told me. But she never knew that the king had other plans. Hi! This is not good at all. Who gave you the information? I heard it from Ijoma first. Then I confronted the princess and she confirmed it, Mama. Hi! Chimo! I've been here planning on how to be the mother of a queen. Nelolo! What about me, Mama? I've been here thinking on how to improve the well-being of the women of our kingdom. Hey, now look at it. And we have been planning. <laughs> planning, Mama! Hey, this is a very big blow. Hey. This is not good. A big blow, Chimo. No.
IG. Can you talk to me in clear terms so that I will understand what you mean? Um, JT, I don't know how you're going to feel, but Anlika said she's no longer interested in your relationship with her. <sighs> did, did she say so? Yes, she did. Did she tell you why? She's still holding on to what she did. But I have already apologized to her. Huh? I haven't bought her a gift to make sure all are in the past. But she's still holding on to it strongly. <sighs> okay, so what do you advise me to do? <sighs> I, I would suggest you give her some time. Maybe one week or some months before you go back. So, you think that's the best thing to do? I think so. Okay. All right. Thank you for the advice, okay? You're welcome. Thank you. Ah, hello, my princess. How are you? I'm fine. I can see you are enjoying yourself and getting acquainted with the palace. Yes, my princess. And I must say that the royal family has a massive palace here. Uh, uh, Very massive one. Uh, thank you. I mean, uh, people say it a lot. But thank you for the compliment. But well, that is the truth. <laughs> if you say so. All right then, let me leave you to continue with your tour while I freshen up, okay? Okay, my princess. Mm -hmm. I hope you're good. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> my... Money, jewelries, other things, very expensive things are missing in this room. 
Now who amongst you took it? It's not me, my princess. It's not me too. My princess, none of us came into your room in your absence. Sadly. My princess, we understand the oath we took, so no one goes stealing in this palace. My friend, will you speak for yourself? Sorry, my princess. My princess, please. She is speaking for all of us. No maiden who bears the cup of the king who will go stealing in the palace. Will you shut up? What nonsense are you telling me? I am telling you that my things are missing. Things you are supposed to take care of is missing and all of you are saying none of you took it. So if you did not take it, who did? None of you can talk anymore. The cat caught your tongues. Now listen and listen good. I'll believe you today. But be rest assured that I will find this thief. And when I do, and it happens to be any of you, <laughs> you will face my rot. And trust me, you don't want to. Now get out of my room, all of you. Greetings, Your Majesty. Money, in my briefcase is missing. What? Do you know anything about it? Your Majesty, no. No, I don't. After dropping your briefcase inside the wardrobe, I left and I haven't gone back there. Your Majesty, you know I can't steal from you. I do not want to believe that someone walked into the palace, went to my room, opened my briefcase, and stole my money. Get the car ready. We live in 30 minutes. Okay, my, Your Majesty. It's a foolish man that thinks he's wiser than the God. He's young and I thought, hey, oh, I'm on the mess. I'm in trouble, please help me. What happened? What is this item for? I mean, I don't understand. The same thing I've been asking myself. I told them. I've been stealing since I stepped into this palace of Tokyo Petty Steve. What? He's stealing. He's stealing. He's stealing. Please. Me. Hi. How? How? Why? The most annoying part of it all is that I steal what I don't even have need for. Oh my goodness. I mean. This is serious. I know. Okay. Okay. What do you want me to do? Anything, anything you want me to help me, to save me. Please. I'm, I'm, I'm not a thief. I know I'm not a thief. <laughs> no, don't figure out something. Please. Please, Jen. Jen, please. 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 
Someone came into this room and took my money and other personal belongings. What? When? Today. How? My person? What was that person thinking? Oh my God. I don't know. And that is why I have sent for you. Andy. My princess. I need you to find out who did this and why that person had the gut to come in here and steal from me. No problem, my princess. You can go now. Thank you, my princess. My princess, I wouldn't want you to get bothered about this. We will surely get to the root of it. Not at all. Thank you, my princess. Have you been able to talk her into going through the ritual process after your marriage with her? Unfortunately, she... She still insists on not performing the ritual. That means she is not your wife. And so you have to start looking for another maiden. Yes. Not so fast away for you, care. Relax, calm down. Your Majesty, <laughs> she will not hold us down for so long. It is well understood that our religion forbids her from doing the needful. Mm. But we are traditionally minded people. Our tradition and customs are part of us. And we are not ready to throw them away because of what was brought to us. Your Majesty, it is even good that we are talking about this at a time like this that you are here to be married to her. Otherwise, it would have been so disastrous that after getting married to her, she refused to perform the ritual. Your Majesty, if you ask me, I will tell you that your best bet right now is to take another wife. And I will tell you, Irudike, that I... I'm in love with this girl. She means a lot to me. Your Majesty, I am surprised that you are sounding this way. Do not forget that you are the king. And you are not supposed to display any form of sentiment in your judgment. But I am human. And I have feelings. Being the king, does not make me less human. And so where do we go from here? I will keep talking to her, Wifi. I'll continue to persuade her. I believe that um, with time, she'll come around. And that luxury of time is what we do not have. The women of this kingdom are in dire need of the services of a queen. Do not be surprised that they will lead a protest to the palace sooner or later. And how would you like that? And I trust you not to let that happen. Your Majesty, our women are that powerful when they push for something. There is little or nothing you can do about it. But we can give this time a little time. Nothing is hidden under the sun. Okuna kawa uwa, anya na kawa uwa na fukwa. There is a wage for every sinner. Okwa meye bokwa uno. The wages of sin. Chai omenja wepa ke uwa na fe. Onyaro. Whip back
I've been asking myself. I, I steal what I don't need. I steal what I don't need, Jen. Something is wrong with you. I know. I know because there is this voice that, that keeps telling me to steal, steal, and steal. And if I don't steal, that won't be okay. Anytime that voice comes, I must steal anything around me just, just to be fine. Jen. Ada. Do you know that you can actually resist this voice and avoid stealing? No, I can't. If I can, I would have done that. This strange voice comes with hypnotizing power. But I can't. I cannot. Please help me. Please. I don't know what you believe in, but what you are experiencing right now is a spiritual problem. I know. I know. Please, do you have... Do you know anybody who can help me out, please? This is not me. Something is wrong with me. I don't know of any, but I'm trying to figure it out. Please, my friend, please. That means we'll see later in the day. Yes, we'll see, but in the meantime, let me keep this. Do not tell anybody about it. Why should I? I won't. Ekelere mo chine me ma ni ya unko mere mo ye madu ne che ginga bu I yeah, have been thinking. Thinking about what, Mama? Maybe you should go back to JT since the king did not marry you again. God forbid! Mama! I I I I will never do that. Never! Uh, Anore, do you now hate him that much? Mama, I do not hate him. But I don't want to have anything to do with him ever again. Hey! Uh, hey! What you're displaying now is the true definition of hatred. And it will take you nowhere. Mama, I want to you. No, honestly, I don't understand you. And what I still do not understand is why you have refused to understand me. That is because you have made it difficult for me to understand you. Mm. How? Mm. How now? Let me tell you, I don't have time for this argument. Go back to what you were doing before I called you. Mama. I will not go back to JT. Please. Ha! Mama, please, I won't do that. Can you imagine? Yes. 
I just discovered something in this palace. What is that? Things are beginning to miss. Things like what? Money, jewelries, other items. You know, I didn't want to raise alarm before, but uh, it's beginning to happen continuously. You know, same thing happened to me. Yes. 500,000 naira money I had set aside um, to purchase a few things for the factory disappeared. I have been wondering myself what happened. And you kept quiet about it. Oh, well, it was strange. I mean, something like this has never happened in the palace before. I, I was still processing it. And who do you think is responsible for all this? I don't know, you know. I mean, we have lived with these guards and maidens in the palace for so long and nothing like this has ever happened. This is strange. Maybe you should ask Adugo. No, come on. Why? Don't do that. Why? Oh, she will feel embarrassed. Mm -hmm. She won't like it. I will catch whoever this thief is. And he or she will be embarrassed. Indeed, I have always believed your report. But I find it very difficult to believe this one. Are you sure? I have no reasons to lie against her, my princess. She has been the one stealing from everyone in this palace. Do you have any proof? Yes, my princess. What is your proof? She always confides in one of the maidens each time she goes there. She confides in one of the maidens? Yes, my princess. Why? From what I discovered, she said she doesn't do it um, intentionally. She said it's time a stronger force speaks directly to her hair. She, nothing can stop her from stealing. Andy, are you sure you are not making this up? No, my princess. You're sure? Very certain, my princess. And who is the maiden she always confides in? Jean, my princess. You may go. Thank you, princess. Thank you. My princess, please. 
help me talk to the king. I am not a thief. I swear I am not a thief. I am not. But you just confessed you've been stealing from us. Yes, I did. Ever since I came into this palace, there is this all that, 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 that always push me to steal. <laughs> then, young lady, you have a spiritual problem. And I would advise you seek for help. But what you just committed is an abomination. Stealing in this kingdom is a taboo. I am ready for any punishment. I am ready to be punished. Yes, I'm ready. The king has already passed his judgment. He says you should leave the palace. Please, help me talk to the king to give me another punishment. Please, you should just throw me out of the palace. Please, I beg the you. The king of Isuenato has passed his judgment. And his word is final. No amount of tears from you, Adugo, will change his mind. So just do what he said. Leave the palace. I don't want to. Please, <laughs> Andy. Your Majesty. Take her out. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. And as for you, it's a foolish man that thinks he's wiser than the God. It's your nana toy. I love Nancy, no put on you. Not your patago, but the heart of men is full of greed and wickedness Always plotting for evil hey. But the sin that men do how are you? Good afternoon, Good afternoon my dear. How are you? I'm fine. So, uh, um, any news from the palace? Yes, it's you. Oh, I'm all ears. <laughs> tell me, tell me. Adugo has just been disgraced out of the palace. Why? News has it that she has been stealing from the king and the princess. Oh. Uh, that means he is going to need a new woman. Is that not what you have always wanted? But the question is, who is the new woman? Have you heard the latest? Did anything happen? The king has chased Adogo out of the palace. What? Yes. Why? They just discovered that she is a thief. That's not possible. How can that decent girl be a thief? One thing you must not do is to vouch for anyone. Everything is possible. But how on earth will she resort to stealing when the king can virtually get her everything she needs? Same question I keep asking myself. You now see why it is dangerous to vouch for someone. But Chege, where did you get this news from? Very good. I saw Andy pushing her out of the palace. And when I asked what happened, he told me everything. Hey! Wonder shall never end. But she looks so decent for that kind of life. Yeah. She just rubbished her reputation, not only in the palace, but in the entire kingdom. Well, it is good this was discovered on time. 
Exactly. If not, the king would have married her and she would steal and put it on our head. Exactly. News also has it that she stole those items the princess was asking us of that day. What? Yes. She can you keep quiet? That's true. Hey, ghost of is you in a talking room. She resort to petty stealing of all things. I guess we should be happy that such abysmal behavior was discovered on time. I'm disturbed. Very disturbed. We should be thinking about the next line of action. To be honest with you, um, I'm devastated. I don't know what to do. I can't think of anything as I sit here. So you're just going to sit back and give room for the elders to attempt a coup on this royal family? What do you want me to do? Have I not done my best? Have I not tried to find the befitting queen for this land? And now I am running out of time. How much time do I have left to find the queen? Before the allotted time given to me by the elders expires. When the one that I found turned out to be a thief. What do you want me to do? Well... This is where I come in as the princess of this kingdom. I have a young maiden in line. She is beautiful and um, of good behavior. And I'm sure you will like her. Hmm. How well do you know this person? I've known her since childhood. And I can beat my chest that she is a good girl. Where is she from? Of course she's from this kingdom. Come on, brother. You don't think I'll be stupid enough to bring someone who is not from this kingdom? She's a daughter of the soil. What family? The O'Connor's family of Ititi Kingdom. Bring her in. Thank you very much, brother, for trusting me on this one. And I give you my word, you will like her and she will not disappoint you. I hope so. I'm sure. <sighs> um, I beg to take my leave now, brother. Can you please stand down and tell me what happened? <laughs> I go to the palace and, and I became directly opposite myself. How do you mean? How do you mean? I turned into something else in the palace. I turned into something. Ada, your words are in pieces. Can you please pull them together and make me to understand exactly what you mean? Please! Joyce, I became a petty thief. I was stealing. I was stealing in the palace. I was stealing. I, was stealing. I still don't understand. What do you mean? There is this voice. They were speaking into my ears telling me to steal and steal and steal, steal, steal. This voice comes with 
hypnotizing power that I cannot resist. Anytime the voice is speaking to me, I, I, will, I will just see myself stealing, stealing. The worst is that I was stealing what I don't even need. You see, I stole meat from the pot. I was stealing meat. Yeah, that, you stole meat? Easy. Ada, this is not ordinary. <laughs> when did this start happening? When? After the first night in the palace, after I spent the first night in the palace, I changed. I changed. I changed. That means there is an evil spirit in that palace. Yes. Thank God you left on time, my friend. Thank God you left on time. I didn't leave. I was disgraced. Maybe along the line, it may have requested for your life. What? Exactly what you heard. Exactly what you heard. Don't underestimate all these people that call themselves royalty. Because they bury their hands into so many evil. Just, just, to, just, to, just to be relevant. Ada, you know what happened to you? What happened to you is a blessing in disguise. It's, it's a blessing in disguise. It should be happy, not this one you're doing, Ada. Go and thank God. Go to the church and thank God. Joyce, I was disgraced. I was disgraced out of the palace. I was disgraced. Still in me. Oh, mm -mm. Gosh. Mm -mm. I've never stolen in my life. You I know, know me. you. <laughs> Ada, never... I know you. It's okay. I've never stolen it's in okay. my life. You sounded so happy over the phone. And you even drove in here with excitement. Why are you not talking to me now? I am going to keep it very short and simple. Angolika, royalty beckons on you. How do you mean? The girl my brother brought in is a thief. And we have sent her out of the palace. My princess, I don't understand what you mean. I mean, how is that even possible? I am telling you a story that happened in the palace. But the most important aspect of this story is that my brother has requested that I bring you in right away. What? I told him about you. I told him how you are a good girl and how you will be a perfect wife for him. So he said I should bring you right away. My princess, are you kidding? I'm not. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Someone should please wake me up from this dream. My princess. My dearest friend, if it's not a dream, it is real. So go in there. Freshen up, put on something nice so we can go. Oh, my princess, my princess, this is nice now. Eh? It's nice. Angolika, go inside, freshen up, and look nice. For there is something a lady can always do to shoot out the beauty in her. So go inside and do the lady's magic. Quick, I'm coming right now. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming right now. So happy. Angry. Ma. Why are you so excited? What's the good news? <laughs> Mama, 
the princess said that the king asked her to bring me. For what? No, why? Mama, she told me that the girl he brought home is a thief. So the king chased her away and asked her to bring me. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that means you are back on track. You can say that again, Mama. In Kebu very soon, I will answer Mama Law. You know, mm. I've been dreaming of that. Mm -hmm. I know. Oh, wow. <laughs> So when are you going to do the thing? Mama, she said now. Then what are you waiting for? I came to let you know now before I leave. I think you should start going now. Immediately, don't waste time. Mm. Or do you want to change into something better? Key wedding. No, then why? Mama, did you say change into something better? Eh, no. ha. Mama, that which makes me Angolika has nothing to do with physical appearance. Oh, yes. The Angolika that I am lives in me. Okay? Alright? So you will. Mama Pom. I wish you best of luck. Thank you. Eh? But <laughs> We are not going to miss it this time. Oh, I'm not going to cry. Eh? That's one. Mm-hmm. Oh, me. Nelon. Hey, God. Is this how you work? So finally, I'm still going to answer Nelon. Yes, what I demanded was a simple email from you showing me return on that investment since the month of January. And what about net profit? Uh, listen, tell the accountant that the next time we have a monthly performance review meeting, I would like for him to come in with his books. I'd like to see what he's doing. Okay? I understand that it's a fresh business, but we must be careful. That's fine. If I can get proper updates, I would appreciate it. Huh? Good. Okay then, I'll talk to you again soon. Alright, thank you very much. Hello, Nancy. Long live your majesty. Paramount ruler of Ethiopian United Kingdom. May your days be long as you pioneer the affairs of the great kingdom of Ethiopian United. Look at you. Also grown and even more handsome. Why are you looking at me like you've seen a ghost? Do I know who you are? Yes, you do. Nigerian University in Suka. Business Management Department. Were you in my class? Oh, no, but we were schoolmates. You were two classes ahead of me back then in school. Sit. Thank you, Your Majesty. What is your name? Obiagiri. Obiagiri. Sounds a bit familiar. Um, okay, you remember when you followed a girl from your department to the school gate when you were in 300 level? Yeah, uh, vaguely I remember that incident, but I cannot tell you that I, I remember the face of the girl in question. Oh well, you see lots of faces, so you just may not remember. And the girl. So what brings you? Oh, I heard you have become king, so I came to pay my obeisance to you. Quite thoughtful of you. Thank you, Your Majesty. Uh, would you like something? Thank you, Your Majesty. Yes, something light will do. Good. Gods!
Jerima, where have you been? I went to see someone. You went to see someone? See, Erima, you have formed the habit of leaving this palace without telling anyone. It was an emergency. Um, who, who is that lady seated at the main living room? I don't know her. Who is she looking for? The king, of course. Or do we have any other male child in this family? Many ladies are skimming their way into the heart of the king. Maybe I should try my luck as well. You didn't just say that, did you? I did. Then you must be dreaming. You're a joker. What makes you think the king will go for you for any reason? You never can tell. Stop dreaming and wake up to reality. Okay? Look at me, Jenny. Look at me. Don't I have what it takes to be the next queen of Isionato Kingdom? Okay, <laughs> let's say you have what it takes to be the next queen of this kingdom. Erima, what makes you think that the king would descend so low as to have something to do with a palace maid? I mean, how is he going to tell the story? Jane, I see you have written yourself off. <laughs> but you see me, Erima, I will never write myself off. <laughs> hey, Erima, you put yourself in trouble one day. Erima, the king. Erima, the king. <laughs> nice one, nice one, nice one, nice one. You are dreaming well, my darling. I'm all set. Let's go. Is this the best of your clothes? What you were wearing before was actually better. Huh. You see why I never wanted to change? Eh? So you don't like this one? Angoli, I was hoping you would wear something better than what you had on. But... You know what? It's okay. Let's go. Does it mean the king will not accept me like this? I did not say so. But first impression matters a lot. Hmm? Anyway, not to worry. We'll find a way around it, okay? Let's go. We're late. Interesting. <laughs> you went that far. Oh, well, <laughs> it was the only option I had. It was a smart move. Yes, it was a smart move. <laughs> you think I did the right thing? Oh, well, I think you did the right thing, yes. I cannot condemn uh, your action. Uh, a few people might, but uh, I think you did the right thing. <laughs> well, you are the only man who has told me that I did the right thing. Others condemned my actions. They condemn because they are myopic. They don't know any better. Huh? It's okay. So, um, what do you do for business? I'm into... <clears throat> I'm into distribution of red oil. Red oil. Please explain. I transport red oil from state to state within Nigeria. Hmm. Business must be good, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, yes, Your Majesty. Business is good. Anything oil attracts money, be it red oil, granite oil, crude oil. Why this money? Are you thinking of expanding, like going international? 
I have the vision to do that, but the issue is uh, finance. <laughs> Don't worry about the finance. Uh, the finance will come. Just keep grinding. Hmm? I believe so. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. Oh, well, I think I should be on my way now. Thank you for your time. Uh, Thank you. Anytime you want me around, just let me know and I'll be here. Thank you. Please leave your number with the guard on your way out. Your wish is my command, Your Majesty. <sighs> leave long. I want us to talk before we leave. Okay, I'm listening. Hang on in. A bright future is staring at you in the face. And I want you to grab it with both of your hands. My princess, I have never disappointed you before. When we get to the palace and you get before the king, I want you to carry yourself in high esteem. Do not behave as one who has never crossed the borders of his union at all. And package your speech and response to his questions in a delightful way. My princess, this one will be hard though. Eh? You know, I, do, I, I don't pretend. Angoli, I am not asking you to pretend. I am only asking you to behave like a modern woman. That's it. Modern woman? Yes. <laughs> so, how do modern women behave? Obviously, there is a lot to learn. Anyway, what I am trying to say is that when we get to the palace, carry yourself with courage and dignity. Do you understand? Can Don't you do worry. that? Yes, I will be at my best. You will be very proud of me. This is exactly what I want to hear. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now let's go. Okay. She is beautiful and smart. The kind of lady I want. Without being told, one can easily see that she has all the qualities of a queen. Her coming here in a time such as this is an indication that she is the woman for me, and I am not going to hesitate to make her my wife. I will search no further, for I think that she is the one. Greetings, Your Majesty. What is it? The lady asked me to give you this. Thank you. May you big dreams, Your Majesty. Things are beginning to come together beautifully. <laughs> Things are beginning to look good. So, 
Se dá, é Ei, Che, all I can say is that I have him exactly the way I want it. Good. Uh, so, he has agreed to marry you then? He hasn't said that with his mouth. But, from the look of things, he has no choice. If he has not said it with his mouth, then uh, we don't have to rejoice yet. It says, no, no, no. Mm. Do not bother yourself so much. Mm. From his body language, it won't be long before he will say it with his mouth. Uh, are you sure about this? I am 101% sure. Uh, well, in that case, I have no choice but to believe you. Hmm? And that means we are on the right track. I mean, we are on the path to success. Yes, we are. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, uh, let me call my friends uh, so that uh, we'll go for the oat taking. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Greetings, brother. Thank you. You're smiling. What is going on? Um, the girl is here. What girl? The good girl I told you about. My friend, the one I want you to marry. Already? Mm -hmm. There's no time to waste. I want everything done as soon as possible. That's how it. What we have just done shall serve as an oath binding all of us together as far as this matter is concerned. Whoever shall go back or renege or sabotage this project shall die a shameful death. Are we agreed on this? See. We all agree. Yeah, we, we all, we all agree. agree. <clears throat>
Um, brother, this is Analika, my friend, the one I told you about. Oh, Anna, sit down. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> you were going to say something? Um, I said this is Amelie, my friend, the one I talked to you about. That's her? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh. You know what, let me leave the two of you to get acquainted. No, 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 sit. Um, I just um, remembered that there is something I need to quickly tell you. Get the guards to offer her something um, to sip on. Okay? Okay. Uh -huh. You know, but on the second floor to come up with me, there's something I need to show you. Okay. Right behind me. Understand. Who? Who's that you brought into the palace? My friend, the one we talked about. No, that cannot be the person we talked about. You brought, brought a hobo into the house, that's what you've done. You, you brought a homeless woman into the house. Who is that? Brother, you are talking about my friend and I will not have you talk about her in that manner. I am actually shocked that you keep people like that as friends. You're royalty. What are you doing with that kind of girl? Did you see her skin? Did you see what she was wearing to you? Did you, did you? did you see her feet? You talk about finding me a wife and you bring that into the palace. What? And that makes me wonder if you want to marry the physical appearance of a woman or a woman, a good woman who will be a true queen to you. Anya Mototo, it is the combination of everything. Physical appearance is important. Alright, because at some point I need to have erection to have sex with her. Class is important because she has to travel the world with me. So what exactly is your point? My point is that you have to tell her to get up and leave. She does not fit into what we're looking for. Brother, this is a good girl. She is well trained from a good home. And I'm a good girl. Whoever I take as a wife must represent me and represent me well. Next time you go in search of a wife for a king, you look at me before you find me a woman. Look at what she brought into the palace. All right, my king. When are we hearing from you again? Very soon, Che. Very soon? Very soon. Okay. So, we are listening. Eh? We want to... Um, let's hear from you and then we know how to, eh? It's not a problem. Yes, yes. that is it. Greetings, Obwefi Irutike. Greetings, my daughter. That man is not good for us at all. Once we take over, we find a way to remove him from the land. I've been thinking along that line. Yeah. Um, as soon as we take over, we'll send him on exile. In fact, we'll find a way to put him completely out of circulation. Yeah. Then we will uh, perfect whatever we have exactly. in this kingdom. Don't no, worry about that. Do you know it's because of that man that we have not taken over? You see? And we have to do everything possible to put him where he belongs. And yes. we have to do it fast. 
plans are already in the pipeline. Eh? Don't worry about him. Yeah, who is he? <laughs> uh. <laughs> My princess, I think you are beginning to give me false hope. Why would you say a thing like that? My princess, didn't you see what just happened? From the look of things, your brother doesn't like me. Mm -hmm. Why would you say something like that? Come on. Forget about my brother's way of modernizing things. Listen. I am very optimistic that my brother likes you. As a matter of fact, he is going to marry you. My princess, I don't see that happening. I don't. Not like this. Did you see the way he looked at me? My princess, I, I have my doubts. Mm. Angoli, you may not believe this, but I will keep saying it. I have seen you seated by the side of my brother as his queen ruling over our people and by the will of the gods my dream will come to pass you have to know mama hello it's mama yes mama how are you fine thank you mama mama it seems you're going out <coughs> With the way I am dressed, you should know I'm going out. <laughs> I'm going for a meeting. Okay, Mama. Um, what about my dear friend? Your dear friend, Angoreka, went out. Ah, I have to wait for her. Ah, will you stay here and wait for her? Yes, Mama. I'll ah. wait for her. We are going somewhere together. Ah, I hope all is well. Yes, Mama. Ah, I'm going to... Oh, come go. Okay, eh? Mama. No matter what they are planning, I'll just be waiting for them to unleash it. with my emotions. Now tell me, is it wrong to love her brother? Is it? <laughs> Which of her brothers are you in love with? Mm. Is it your ma? The princess has just one brother and we know that. You, wait a minute. You mean you're in love with the king? Yes. Young woman, you and I know that the king is a modern man and he is well traveled. He's so classic and experienced. And you and I know that he cannot, for any reason, descend to your level. You should know this and stop wounding yourself with expectations. Okay, so Ijoma, what exactly do you refer to as level? Now tell me, why are you even dismissing me as if I am nothing? Now tell me, eh? The fact 
fact that I chose naturality over fake life does not mean that I am classless. No. My dear friend, stop dreaming. Wake up and face the reality. Hmm? Okay, you know what? Let's just change this topic. Sure. Why are you here? Okay, my friend. You know I love you so much. Not just a friend. I'm like a sister to you. And I want the best for you as my friend. I, I'm here to advise you to go back to JT. Yes! JT is the right man for you. He's the only man that can take care of you. JT is the only man that can honor, cherish, and love you. Ijoba, please, please, just stop it. Stop it! Nobody here who called that for on. Eh? Any man who can cheat on his woman once will do so repeatedly. I will never go back to JT. Even if he's the only man on earth, read my lips. I will not go back to JT. Your Majesty, I uh, greet you. You do dike. You do dike. Your Majesty. You do dike. I greet you. I got the leg of my. Hey! It's a beautiful day. Oh, yes. <laughs> Your Majesty, uh? without being told, I can say that you're very happy today. How do you know? Your Majesty, have you forgotten that I know you like I know my wife? You see, I can easily tell when your majesty is happy. Oh, well, for you, Rudike. Hi. <laughs> Indeed, you're a man of the gods, eh? And on the acknowledgement yes. of the gods, I will go straight to the point I am here. Let me hear you. Your majesty, when exactly are you bringing in another woman since the first one did not work? I am happy to tell you that that will happen very, very soon. Hmm. It is as if there is somebody already waiting that you want to introduce to us. Oh, if you, Rudike. <laughs> oh, if you, Rudike. I see that a little bird has been whispering to you lately. If you can say that again. Uh, how did you know? Your Majesty, you see... It's been long I have been with you, mm. and it's said that action speaks louder than words. Mm -hmm. The only thing that can make your majesty, as I know, happy the way you are is when there is a beautiful woman by your side. <laughs> so once again, when are you bringing her to meet with the Council of Elders? Mm. In a few days, away from I can't wait. In a few days. I can't wait. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a motor talk. It is the combination of everything. Physical appearance is important. All right, because at some point I need to have erection to have sex with her. Class is important because she has to travel the world with me. Brother will never change. Let's see how this plays out. I am what I Brother. My darling sister. I know that you're angry, but calm down. I'm sorry. I am not angry. Yes, you are. I know you. You are angry about the way I talked about your friend, but... Please, forgive me. Trust me, brother, I am not angry. You are the one intending to get married. The choice of who you want to marry belongs to you. I'm glad that you understand that. 
Brother, you should remember I am privileged to attend one of the best schools in this country. There are certain things I should know. Your intelligence has ever been in doubt. Huh? And speaking of intelligence, I am happy to tell you that I have just seen a young woman I might be getting married to. Ooh. A maiden from this town. Brilliant. As long as she's of good behavior, I have no problem with that. I am positive that when you see her, you'll like her person. And I'm happy you feel this way about her. Good luck. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, Your Precious. What is it? You have a visitor, Your Majesty. Male or female? Female. Tell her to be seated and wait for me. I'll be with her shortly. As it pleases the king. Brother, I think you should go and attend to your visitor. Not until I am done with you. Brother, you always have me here. But your visitor, you don't. Go and attend to her. You see why I say that your intelligence has never been in doubt? I am what, Otto? Huh? I'll see you soon. The king will be with you soon. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. the thief. I can explain. I can explain, Your Majesty. I am a man of justice, Aduga. I do not relate with thieves. I am not a thief. You are a broad deal light criminal. That's what you are. I'm not. I'm not stolen in my life. I took you in, loved you, gave you the best of me. Promised to make you the queen of Israel at all. And what do you do? You turn around and you steal from my family. You, you may just see, I don't know how to explain this. The same nonsense that you have been repeating. I am tired of your nonsense. I do go. Because of our belief. Not a thing. If you do not leave right now, I am going to have one of my guards throw you out in the most dehumanizing way. Please. Get up please, and get out. Please, it has not gotten to this extent. Please, Your Majesty, I am not a thief. God! Please, it has not gotten to this extent. Please. Your Majesty. I will leave. Please. I'm not stolen in my life. I'm not 
Did you get a very good look of that woman? Yes, Your Majesty. Let this be the last time she's allowed into the palace. She is a confirmed criminal. Okay, Your Majesty. She's no longer allowed into this palace. Am I clear? Yes, Your Majesty. Oh. A princess. To what do I owe this unannounced visit? Keep that pretentious smile of yours to yourself. My princess, you're sounding as though we're at war. Is anything the matter? Call it whatever you like, Uwefi Rudiki. But your plans will not work. My princess, can you bring me up to speed so that I will understand what exactly you're talking about? That my brother listens and takes advice from you does not mean you will control his life by telling him who to marry. Did your brother tell you that I suggested any for him? Allow him make his choice of a wife. That woman you are pressing his neck to marry might not be the right woman for him. On the sacredness of her journey, the mother heard. I am not part of the decision of your brother to marry the lady that he is intending to marry. I know nothing about it. I knew you were going to do this. I knew you were going to deny it. I knew you were going to try to confuse me with this Ajani bullshit. But away, Firudike. I have my eyes on you. And I will make sure that you don't impose your preferred woman on my brother. Because before he became your king, first, he was my brother. My princess, it will interest you to know that who a man marries has never been of any interest to me. My only interest is to see how Isio Yenato kingdom can be moved forward. Anything other than that is of no interest to me. You are not a good liar. <laughs> Nothing is hidden on that. Joyce, Joyce, I am not a thief. I am not. Before God and man, I am not a thief. I have never stolen in my life before. You know it. I am okay with what I have. I, I can't even see myself stealing from someone. You know now, you know, I am not a thief. The king called me a thief and he ordered the guards to take me out of the palace. What? Yes. Is it that me? JC, I, I, I saw a different man today. I didn't know he could be this mean. <laughs> it is okay. Nothing is not your husband. Yes. I love him. JC, I love him. I love him. Loving him does not guarantee you being his wife, Ada. Come on. <laughs> he has everything I need in a man. He has everything I need in a man. But the fact still remains that I am not a I it's, 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 it's okay. It's okay. I know. Just just give him some time. Let him be for now. Okay? I am not a thief. I can't. I am not a thief. I am not a thief. I have never stolen in my life. I am not a thief. You have to let him be. One of the ways to show love is to let go. If it comes back to you, you will know that it is meant to be. I'm not a thief. I am not a thief. I am not a thief. Try I am not a thief. And that is okay. I am not a thief. It's okay. It's okay. I can't lose them. I cannot lose them. I know. I know. Just calm down. Me.
elders of my land. <laughs> I am very happy to present to you the beautiful maiden that I have decided to marry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what a wonderful choice by the king. Hey! Uh, Your Majesty, you have made the right choice. Carry on. Your Majesty, you have eyes and you can see with them. Yes. <laughs> eh? You see, me looking at her. Eh? One does not need to be told that uh, <laughs> she, eh? she has all the attributes of a queen. Your Majesty, with all due respect, I suggest that you don't search no further. She is your missing ribs. <laughs> uh, uh, but that is the plan, eh? <laughs> not to search further. Uh, Good. Uh, so, Your Majesty, uh, when are we going to do the need for Emano? Well, very soon. Uh, very, very soon. Uh, uh, you are not saying anything, or don't you have something to say? Your uh, Majesty, you don't need to say anything. The majority carry the vote. We're all together. He has to say something. Can I speak to you privately, Your Majesty? Hi. What is it? Your Majesty, there is something very important I need to discuss with you, and it's urgent too. Hi. My orders, please. Oblige me. Why did you have to allow him to live with the king? Whatever he is planning has been overtaken by events. <laughs> She's already our queen. The king must marry her. <laughs> Trust me. Oh my, we chase no no. Is a no more. The king of the birds. You cannot. And I would do the bunaka. Iche. Oh my. Is a no no. Oh my. You will not marry that lady, Your Majesty. Why? Everything about her is shrouded in secrecy. How do you mean? The people she associates with are the people I call enemies of the throne. Can you give me names? Your Majesty, this is not the time to mention names, but you just have to listen to me. You leave me no choice other than to disagree with no, you. No, Your Majesty, listen to me. I listen to you. I have always listened to you, but I think that you're beginning to take advantage of it. Far from it, Your Majesty. Now, let me tell you something. That girl is a disaster waiting to happen. Listen to me, Your Majesty. I will not do so until you give me proof. Your Majesty, marrying that girl will be the worst mistake you make in your life. Let me make that mistake. Your Majesty, you don't expect me to tell you lies. Believe me. Listen to me. This is my call to make. My mind is made up. I'm done with this discussion. Leave. Your Majesty, did you just... Ask me to leave? Did you just question my authority? As it pleases you, Your Majesty. Once again, welcome to the palace. Thank you, my princess. Are you ready to embrace royalty? I'm very ready, my princess. Ah, 
How long have you known my brother? It's been a while now. How come he has never mentioned your name to me? Oh well, that I don't know. I guess he's in a better position to answer that question. You're right. He's in a better position to answer that. So, what do you do for a living? I'm into local oil distribution. That means you are a businesswoman. Yes, my princess. I like that. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like business, you know. I like to do business. And I hope someday we will do business together. Wow. That will be an honor, my princess. I'm ready to do business with you anytime. Sure. Sure. My pleasure, though. I'll be looking forward to it. Um, that, that would be all. I actually wanted to get to know you better. So you can return back to the main building. Thank you, my princess. It's an honor having spoken with you. Thank mine. you. Oh, finish up your drink. <laughs> Thank you, Alda. <laughs> Nothing is hidden under the sun. You requested to see me. Oh, yes, I did. So, what is the plan? I don't understand. You know exactly what I am talking about. And I expect you to answer me. I don't know what you're talking about. What is the scheme of pushing you into becoming the king's wife? Oh yes. What exactly do you intend to achieve when you finally get to the palace? Nobody is pushing me to be the king's wife. And I do not know where the word pushing is coming from. I am a man that consults Dibiafa. And I can tell you that even your continence betrays you right now. I do not consult Dibiafa. So you should not be holding this conversation with me. There is a hidden agenda and a secret plan. With the elders that are pushing you into this. In your own interest. I am advising you to withdraw and leave, especially now that you still have the time. I still don't know what you are talking about. Go and ask about me. I am that deadly masquerade of Isio Yenato that has never lost any battle. Why are you telling me about battles of Wefi? I'm not into battles with anyone. I do not bite anyone until they position themselves well enough to be beaten. And anyone that allows himself or herself to be beaten by me experiences the worst form of bite. Now you are threatening me with it. You are threatening me. It is not a threat. I am telling you what will happen. Deal with it now before the universe deals with you. There is a wage for every sinner. The wage 
sin that men do must surely live with them. Oh, one me, oh, one na, yeah yeah. Oh, one me ba na. I do not feel comfortable talking about what I feel about her here. Speak. I want to hear it. There is something evil about her. She is shrouded in secrecy. Can you explain? She did not come into this palace with good intentions. There is more to her. Have you discussed this matter with Ogwefi, Yuridike? I did not discuss this with anyone. Why then do both of you sound alike? Why are the two of you saying the same thing about this young girl? He is opposed of the girl? Yes. And what exactly did he say? Says the same thing that you have said that she's not good for me, something evil about her. Same thing that you have said. Well, he's right. There is something evil about that girl. Brother. You have to listen to me. That girl is not good for you. Well, until someone gives me enough reason with evidence proving that that girl is evil, I will not have this kind of discussion. Brother, you have to listen to me this time. I am your sister and I will never lead you astray. Of course, you can never lead me astray. I'm an adult. My children have to make his own decisions. That means you're not going to listen to me on this particular issue. Never will I listen to you on this particular issue. Will that be all? Yes. Sound well over the phone. That's a problem, Eche. What kind of problem? Obwefi Rudike is fully aware of all that we're planning. How do you mean? He called me to his house today to tell me about all we are planning, and he has vowed that he's going to stop us. I always knew it would come to this. He is one person we should not take for granted. Wait for you, okay. So what do we do now? Don't worry. Eh? Let it not bother you. I have handled him before. I will handle him again. Eh? Wait for you, is no match for me. <laughs> Don't worry. Hmm? Ichi, hmm? if there's anything you intend on doing, please be fast with it. To be honest with you, I'm scared of that man. I told you not to worry about him. Listen, just do your thing and let me handle the rest. You understand? I have dealt with Obwe Firidike before. I will deal with him again. I am Ichi Zenono. You're sure about that? Don't worry about him, okay? Relax. Okay, Ichi. Let me be on my way now. It's okay. Yeah? Obi, trust me, okay? Trust me. I'm Ichi Ezenono. 
Why do you always interfere in matters that do not concern you? Irudike! Eh, I am not going to warn you again. Listen to me. That road which you intend to ply, that road you intend to walk is very slippery and dangerous. And if you take that road, you may not survive it. I am not afraid to fly any road. As long as humans and spirit fly it, I will go in there and come back alive. Nothing. Irudike, I, I want you to stay out of my way. I promise you that I will not stand in your way. Do not stand in my way. Maybe. Do not stand in my way. Maybe you should tell me what the plan is. Why should I tell you? It is none of your business. It is none of your business. Listen to me. I have an unfinished business with the royal family. And until I collect my pound of flesh, I will not give up. And I, and I will not rest. That I took an oath to protect the king and the royal family. I took that oath before the lady. That is exactly what I am doing. And there is nothing you or anybody can do about it. Oh, that means you are declaring war against me. Because protecting the royal family means declaring war against me. And I will make sure you go down for Hey, say, no, no. I am not scared of you. I am not afraid of you. It will interest you to know that the day a man like you was born, a greater man like me, in fact, let the war begin! Okay! The war has just begun! This war has just begun! And I promise you, you will be consumed! A man! You will be consumed! Oh, you lie! A man who walk on the path of justice, on the path of righteousness, will always come out victorious according to my father! Oh! And that is exactly what I am doing! And that your father who told you that nonsense did not want you to stay away from other men's business? No, he did not want you to stay clear of other men's affairs? Oh! We shall see! We shall see nothing! We shall see! We shall see nothing! We shall see! You can't do nothing! Okay! Oh, nothing! We shall see! We shall see nothing! Hey, now. I mean, why are you staring at me? Because I just like the way you lick it. <laughs> Listen, if you want more, I can get some. No, this is enough. This is okay. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. I'm good sure. I actually like the seed more. Mm. Mm -hmm. More than the flesh itself. Make sure you don't swallow the seed. Mm -mm. I will not make that mistake. Okay. So it doesn't grow on your head. <laughs> <laughs> It's just a mix. <laughs> so, mm. let me not start looking, Sherry, and forget why I came to see you. Okay. <sighs> you know, um, in marketing, there is something they call rebranding and repackaging. Oh, what? my princess, me, I did not go to the university, so I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Anguli, I know. That is why I'm going to explain it to you, okay? Um, so, we are going to talk about repackaging. Let's leave rebranding for now. Hmm? So, repackaging of a product... Mm, has to do with um, changing the physical appearance of a product to appear more attractive to the buyers. Okay, fine. Let me bring it down to a layman English. Repackaging of a product. Like, I want to repackage this. Hmm? I now change the physical appearance of this product 
so it will appear more attractive to you. That is what repackaging is. Okay. Do you understand? Yes. You know, you don't just repackage a product for it to appear attractive to the buyer. You also repackage a product so that more buyers will see it and it will attract them to buy the product. So in other words, you are repackaging the product to get more customers. Mm. Do you understand? Yes. Good. You're smart, you know. Mm. So, um, oftentimes I tell people that um, it's not just a product you can repackage. You can also repackage a human being. This is where, uh, uh, let me borrow the word, rebranding of a human being. So if you can repackage a product to get more buyers and for the product to have more sales, so can you also repackage a human being to attract more favor and also gain more friends? Hi. This is my princess. This is my princess. Her too intelligent. Emily, please, can you stop? You keep embarrassing me all the time. Simple facts. Cut. Now I can. I understand everything you said just now. Forget the fact that you didn't go to school, Emily. You're a very smart girl, and I always tell you this. Okay. So, my dear friend, I actually came here today mm. to tell you that I want to repackage you. Hmm? Uh, well, Your Majesty, um, were you able to think about what we discussed the last time? Which of them? I mean, the girl, of course, and what she truly represents. No, I did not. Why? I don't remember telling you that I was going to think about it. But I told you the girl is evil. And that her intentions towards you are not good at all. I told you. You are beginning to overstep your boundary. And I don't like it. Is it because I have allowed you in that you have suddenly earned the right to decide for me? You, you, you are misunderstanding me, Your Majesty. That is, I have not misunderstood you, Rudike. That is exactly what you're doing, and I do not like it. Let me make it known. Henceforth, you are not allowed to further discuss the issue of that girl. Never again. It's okay, Your Majesty. Well understood. So, when do you intend to to get married to her? In exactly two Kemaka days, that girl will be leaving with me here in the palace as my wife. Let the rest of the elders know. I will do that, Your Majesty. My princess, how am I going to be repackaged? Mm -hmm. You are not going to only change how you dress. You are also going to change how you speak, how you talk. Are you saying that I will start wearing expensive things? And who said you have to wear expensive things to look good? Fine, um, you're not only going to wear expensive things like you said, you're also going to wear expensive wigs, good perfumes, jewelries, cosmetics. In fact, I am changing everything about you. My princess, mm -hmm. expensive wig, good wig, perfume. Mm -hmm. My princess, I don't have that kind of money. And besides, I'm not too particular about looks. Really? Angoli, which one is the problem? Is it that you cannot afford it or you don't like to wear it? I 
can't afford it. <laughs> so if I get it for you now, you will wear. Yes, now I will wear. That brings me to the next phase of everything. Okay. I will get you everything you need for this repackaging I am talking about. But on one condition. <laughs> what condition, my princess? You must promise me you will wear, use, and do everything I ask you to do. My princess, just buy them. Eh? If I get you the expensive dresses like you said, the expensive things like you called it, you are going to wear it. I will wear them. So we have a deal. We have a deal. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, listen, if we wait here a little longer and that girl doesn't show, we'll go just cut off for here. This place no they save at all. Right there, you see, you see me, I only like all these kind of girls who well, call this girl, you know, Greek call her. Nah, see, she don't do waste man time. Nah. Guy, there's no need of calling her. She needs this more than we do. Eh? We don't get all day now. Nah. Guy, give me lighter, babe. give me lighter. I'm oh sorry guys for keeping you waiting. She can so sorry about it. Come, share the wine me Abby. It isn't as so with the work for you. Listen, this is not how we work in this place. Well understood. So we think carry you come this anger. I have a task for you guys. Name it. There are some men I want you to take out. Give me their names. It is a no no. Or a quay, Anunana. 1.5 million naira. 500,000 naira each. Which not waste blood for nothing. Because blood is an expensive commodity. We don't waste it just like that. I'll give you 1 million. Come. We know they negotiate for you. We know come here, come negotiate. 1.5 million or nothing. Deal. <laughs> I like that. So when you hit the ground running? Once you pay us one million naira, we'll get to work. Immediately you hear they are dead. The good news. You pay us our balance. You get your money over the weekend. Because I want you guys to get to work ASAP. See, once we are done with the business, you pay us our complete money. Sharply. Do you hear me, Abby? I heard that the princess and Nobue Firudike are not comfortable with the king's choice of wife. That will be a big problem. I don't think so. Because he's the king and he has every right to make his own choice. That is very correct. But in a situation where two most important people in his life are against his choice of wife, that spells danger. He's the king. I believe he will find a way. But why are they opposing the king's choice? Well, the princess, the sister, has someone in mind that she wants her brother, the king, to marry. Sometimes I wonder how you get all your information. Chege, let's just say that I always place myself where I will be properly informed. I see. Now you sloppy. I hope you have not returned to tell me that I cannot marry a baby. Not at all, Your Majesty. You've taken a decision on that already, and I respect your decision. And so why have you returned? Your Majesty, I know that you have made your verifications. That will be the reason you are insisting that you will marry her. But then again, I just come to ask, 
I want to know exactly where you did this verification. If you did it outside this kingdom, I will insist you do another one with someone from this kingdom who is connected with the ancestors of this kingdom. What verification are we talking about here? Herodike, what exactly are we verifying? Your Majesty, I am not sure I heard you right. Do you mean to say that as the custodian of the affair of this great kingdom, you did not verify the spiritual inclination of the woman you want to make your wife? Your Majesty, this is not in line with the, 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 the tradition. You better retrace your step urgently, Your Majesty. Tradition is tradition, Irudike. I do not have a problem with the ritual process. Away from Irudike. Is this your ploy to stop me from marrying a beggarly? Not at all, Your Majesty. I am only guiding the king, and you know it. Your Majesty, can you please allow her to go through this ritual so that she'll be qualified to be the queen? Tradition is tradition, Erudike. The ritual, she must perform. I do not have a problem with her going for the ritual. She will go through the process, if that's what you ask. That is it, Your Majesty. Thank you for obliging me this time. Thank you, Your Majesty. Uh... I hope all is well. Yeah, sure. All is well. I know this is going to sound somehow. But whichever way, I want you to know that I mean no harm. Jetty, what are you up to? IJ. IJ. Please marry me. You are joking, right? No. For real, you're joking. And I, I want you to stop this joke. Just stop it. IJ, I am not joking. <laughs> Your friend said it is over between us. And since she cannot forgive me of what I did, let me move on with you. This is madness. And I want you to stop it this minute. Jesse, just stop this madness. This is not madness. From the way you have handled this misunderstanding between your friend and I, from the maturity you have brought to the table, IJ, I have fallen in love with you. And I want you to please marry me. JT, okay, okay. Assuming I accept your proposal, how do you think Anlika is going to feel about it? And Norika has rejected me already. And how she feels doesn't matter to me anymore. On the contrary, she will feel so much betrayed for me to accept to marry you. And she will come against me. And I do not want it. Even the universe will fight in your favor if she dare come against you. She asked me to forget about her and move on with my life. I have decided to move on with you. How is it a problem? Yes, I am not against you moving on. You can move on, Jesse, but not with me for crying out loud. What is it now? Because I respect Annika as a person and I respect our friendship. Excuse me. The more reason I must do everything possible to be with her. She's everything most ladies are not. My friend, my friend, you have to listen JT to me. JT is useless. 
Can you just calm down for once? Oh, really? Give me one reason I should calm down. Just because I said no to him, boom! He has come running to you, proposing that you marry him. Is that not insanity? That's because he desperately wants to get married. Eh? You don't have to blame him much. And that's why I said he is useless. And I don't want to have anything to do with him. Can you beat that? My friend, you once told me how much you love this guy. Oh, please, that was then, not now. You know what? You have to reconsider your stand on this. Please. My darling, my mind is made up. I cannot go back to TJ. And please, I don't want you to feel you are betraying me. If you want to marry him, fine. You can go ahead and marry him. What? Yes, you heard me. TJ can go to hell for all I care. Rubbish. TJ this, TJ that every time. TJ useless. <sighs> Stupid boy. I can't even take good care of himself. Rubbish. Nonsense. I'm silly and useless. TJ. Okay. It's okay. Is Mama around? She went to the market. You know what? I want you to think about this. We'll talk about this later. I beg to take my leave. Calm down. Oh? It's okay. Put yourself together. It's not what you think. Calm down. I beg to take my leave. All right. California and Ako. What is wrong with them? My mind is made up. I don't want TJ. Okay, no. Leave me alone. TJ, this TJ, that. Okay, then go for Rulu. The battle has just begun. Eche, hmm? what's the process all about? Well, it is an ancient tradition of our people. But it is optional. The king may decide not to allow you to pass through this process and still go ahead to marry you. That's it. Hmm? But in this instance, it seems his mind is made up. Yes, his mind is made up. And the boy Fiyurudike is behind it all. Iche, I ask again. What is this process all about? It is all about finding out if you are real or not. And um, having come this far with us, if you pass through that process, you will die. So the deal just hit the rock? <laughs> Not at all. Not when I'm involved. Hmm? Ichi, I don't understand. I am Ichi Ezenono. I will give you an antidote. You will pass through that process and nothing will happen. Hmm? Ichi, Ichi, but you just said that this is an ancient practice. Uh -huh. So all the charms you've gathered from far and yet cannot do anything to ancient institutions and authorities. I told you before. I am Ichi Ezenono. Listen. His father, the late king, could not even stand me in any way. Who is he? Mwambashi? A toddler. Eh? Mwamwamwamwaka kunaka? Ah, come on. Listen. Hold on. I'll tell you. I'm talking. I am Ichi Ezenono. Eh? I will give you an antidote and you will pass through that process. Come out and nothing, absolutely nothing will happen. Absolutely nothing. Yeah? You know me? Hey, calm down. Calm down. Hey. Relax. Yeah? I am with you in any way. I am behind you. I am in front of you. I am by your right hand and by your left hand. Nothing will happen to you. I am Ichezenon. Trust me. Trust me, you will pass through that process and nothing will happen. Absolutely nothing. Yeah? 
Relax. <laughs> How's everyone? Fine, fine. Come and sit down. Come and um, sit down. It's not a sitting thing. I didn't come to sit, okay? I'm actually in a hurry. I actually came to give you this. Yeah. Hold it, hold it. Let me get the other one. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Baby, my princess. Um, here. Yeah. I came to give you this. Hey! Yes. My princess! Mm? I need you to start dressing like this. Dressing good. Because I want you to look exceptional and sport. Okay? My princess. Mm -hmm. All this for me. And more. Because uh, the hairdresser will be coming soon. Your jewelries, cosmetics and other things are coming. So just get ready. They will be arriving soon. Okay? Hi! Oh! Get better, friend. It gets wide. Can you just Thank stop? You. <laughs> hey! Mm -hmm. This must have cost the whole lot. Come on. Stop it. It's nothing. I mean, you're my friend. If I don't do this for you, who will I do it for? Hmm? Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. You're welcome, my darling, you're welcome. Okay, um, I have to run along now, okay? So expect the hairdresser, like I said, your jewelry, cosmetics and other things, okay? And make sure you use them, because I'll will. monitor you. Ah! I need you to change your look, okay? I will. You can't be my friend and be dressed like this. My daughter, how are you? Mama, I'm fine. But, Mama, I was actually on my way to the market to see you. I hope all is well. All is not well, oh, Mama. What happened? But I don't know if here is conducive for us to have the discussion. It's just two of us that are here. You can talk to me. Mm. Eh? Mama. Mm. Talk now. Say, Mama, mm, Mama, mm. JT proposed to me. How did it happen? My mother is not where the problem lies, though. I, I actually talked to my friend and Lika to go and settle with, with Jetty. But, Mama, I can't believe what she said to me. What did she say to you? She said I should go ahead and marry Jetty, that she can never have anything to do with Jetty in her life. Are you sure she said that to you? Yes, Mama. Mama, you know me too well. Eh? I don't have any reason to, to, to lie against my friend. If that is the case now, go ahead and marry him. What, Mama? Which one is what, Mama? Even you, Mama. What happened to me? Somebody said she is no longer interested in marrying JT. And the young man proposed to you. It's not your fault. Marry him. God and man will bear you witness that it's not your fault. I'm a witness to you. Marry JT. Ada, have you heard? Heard what? That the king is getting married. It's not true. Ada, the news is everywhere in this kingdom. Yes. Not again, Ada. Not again. This goes a long way to tell you that the king is not for you. Yes. He's not meant for you. Maybe you are right, but at some point I was thinking that the king is for me. <sighs> Ada, you have every right to think that way. But the turn of the events has proven you wrong. Yes, you have to be strong. Please, please my friend, okay? 
community. Stop doing that. For more than this, okay? What do you have inside? It's well. So who is he getting married to? I don't know. Don't ask me. Don't know. What do you have inside? making any mistake. Yes! I don't expect you to see your mistakes because you are the one who is directly making the mistake. Oh, really? Eh? I am the one who is making the mistake now, Mama. Listen, Mama. If TJ is the only man on earth, eh? I will rather remain unmarried. Rubbish. Hey, Hanuri, I pray you don't regret this. We women have a way of dismissing the fact that real men are scarce just to satisfy our whims and caprices. But the fact remains that real men are very scarce and any woman who manages to find one should hold on to him. Mama, can you feel Akode? Eh? But you can't come back in not TJ. Look at him. Very senseless. Classless. TJ had the mind to cheat on me and you want me to marry him. Mama will not do that. I will not. Rapu Makabiko, Rapu I am not holding you. I am not holding you. Hey, leave me alone. Rapu Mo. Marry TJ, TJ this, TJ that, TJ that. Hey, women of old generation. The only reason we are doing this is to ensure that a woman that has oracle does not emerge the queen of his Yuyanato kingdom. This is the sacred water that I personally fetched from the stream of Apalata. At that dreaded time of the night that is called Ime Odinabo. By drinking from this water, I attest that I do not have any oracle, and may oracle kill me if I am hiding any. Repeat what I just did now and prove to us that you do not have oracle that will ultimately cripple Isu Yonato kingdom if we allow you become the queen. Do not say that you were not guided if you have any known evil and you still go ahead to drink from this water, you will die here and your remains will be buried without any funeral. I do not have any evil in me. I told you. She's clean. <laughs> May the gods bless your union. He <laughs> said. Your Majesty, may I please have some rest in your chambers? By all means.
still I am not convinced. How do you mean? There is something sinister about this lady that we cannot see. I feel so too. But if the water of her palate has given her the green light that she would become the queen of his Yuyanato kingdom. So, what next? Everything is in the hands of the king. As soon as he gives the go-ahead order, I will start the planning of the traditional marriage. <laughs> Those who claim they know this one cannot boast that they know the other one. <laughs> the king is mine, and mine he shall be. It's a foolish man that thinks he's wiser than the God. It's young and not all you. I never see no good than you. What is it? Who is pushing you? Hey, that's the problem. What happened? Very big problem. What is the problem? Just know. Nana is dead. Ah, ah. Uh, uh, please, please, please. Hey, you know where go? If this is a joke, kindly stop it, please. It is not a joke. How can I joke with a thing like that? Nana is dead. Who told you that? Nobody told me. I saw the dead body of Nana by the roadside. That means somebody must have killed him. So who killed him? Who killed him? I don't know. I don't know. It is a dangerous problem. This is a very big problem. Hey. What kind of a thing is this? What is going on? What? You look beautiful. Ifunaya. Thank you. Nice work. I'm glad you like my profile. This is nice. This is why I always call on you, you know? Thank You're good. Thank you. Give her a mirror. Let her see herself. Give her the mirror. <laughs> what is it? No, no, no. What is it? Angoli, we have a deal. You remember, right? Do you remember our deal? Yes. Yeah. Yes, my princess. Good. And please don't clean that makeup, okay? Uh -huh. I won't, my princess. Um, if Naya, you have to take her inside, dress her up, wear her the wig. You remember the wig we were talking about? Yeah. Yes, the, the other one, the straight one, then yeah. the style we picked. And make sure she's looking good, okay? Just do your job. Don't let her clean any of those things on her face, please. Amelie, really don't clean that makeup. Yes, hello, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, all is not well. I need 1.5 million naira to sort some things out, Your Majesty. Wow, really? You give me two million naira? Oh, that's so nice of you, Your Majesty. Thank you. I'll smile. I'll keep smiling for you, Your Majesty. I promise. Thank you so much, Your Majesty.
this. What are you doing? Oh. Ah. Please, just, just stand, okay? <sighs> Let me see. Angeli, you look beautiful. I mean, you look amazing. <laughs> Thank you, my princess. Gosh! I did not know. Let me let me take a look. Let me take a look. Let me let me have your hand. Let me have your hand. <laughs> oh my God! Ah! Okay, don't worry. Don't just stand. Just stand. Well, like I was saying, Emily, you look beautiful. You Thank look you. amazing. Like I have never thought you had this beauty in you. I mean, who would have thought? <laughs> this is beautiful. You know what they say, money makes all women beautiful. No, not just women. Money makes everything beautiful. I mean, take a good look at you. <laughs> oh, I'm going to leave this, this, this. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I am so happy with the work we've done with you. Okay, but well, we still have work to do. Hi, my princess. What again? We need to work on your step. Angeli, you don't know how to walk and you don't know how to stand. You are a lady. You're supposed to stand like this. With your chest out and your head held high. And then you need to learn how to stand and walk on heels, my darling. So, but not to worry. I'll get someone to do that, okay? Okay. But for now, I like what I see. Thank you. This is beautiful. You know what? Just remove the shoe. You can stand on your feet. Like, um... I should remove the shoe. Yes, just, just stand on your leg. Oh. Mm-hmm. Hey. Oh. Better. Hi. That is it. Nothing is hidden under the sun. Hey! Hey! This man just passed us at the village square now. Hey! This dead is not ordinary. Today it was each other. No, no, today. Ah, we. Hey, we need to inform the king about this. The king have to hear this thing now. Immediately. This is not ordinary. Hey, we need to hear this thing. Ah, ah. Maybe, who know the next? Maybe, maybe, maybe you are the next. You are stupid. You are mad. Are you not supposed to die? You are, you are just crazy. Ah, ah. Hey. I am actually eager to hear what you have decided. How, sir? I never told you I was going to get back to you. I gave you my response that same day. The response you have given to me is not mine. I am serious that I want you to be my wife. And you shouldn't be turning me down. Jetty, I have to be honest with you. I can't marry you. Why? Why? That's because I don't want to ruin my relationship with my friend. But I thought we've already talked about this before. Yes, we talked about it. But I can't. I, I, I can't do anything about it. IJ, please don't do this to me. Please. I, I, I don't know what you want. What if I'm in a serious relationship? Or are you doing this to get back at my friend? No. You possess all the qualities I need in a woman. And that is why I want you to be my wife. Please. That's not going to be possible. I... I... I, I can't... Else am I going to make her to understand me? IJ! IJ! Good afternoon, sir. 
Oh, afternoon, my friend. Please, what can we offer you? Anything soft. I'm okay with it. Um, I just spoke to the princess. She's on the way back to the palace. Uh, did you mention of me being around? No, sir. And, uh, uh, if I did, she won't be back until you leave, sir. So oh, that's why I didn't. Oh, thank you so much, my guy. You are right. Um, so, what's that your name again? My name is Andy, sir. Andy? Yes, sir. Correct guy. We'll meet later, okay? Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, by the way, sir, has anybody offered you anything to eat or drink? Uh, yes. There is a maiden that approached me and I, she asked me what I want and I told her anything soft. So I'm okay with that. Okay, sir. Uh, she'll be back in no time, sir. Thank you so much. Have a, have a nice day. Yeah. We'll talk later, okay? Thank you, sir. Yeah. Young man, I do not have the leisure of time. Get straight to the point. What is going on? Evil has visited our land, Your Majesty. Oh, yes, sir. Our people are dying one by one in this community. All right, young man, calm down. Calm down, all right? What exactly is going on? Two days ago, Ike Nana was seen lying dead along the roadside. Ike Nana dead? Yes, Your Majesty. It was like the killer killed him somewhere, then brought his remains to the road so that people will see it. On our way here, we found Ike Arapwe's body by the track road. What exactly is going on? Why is it that their family members are not talking about it? Why are the people of this community not talking about it? Are the both of you sure what you're talking about? Very, very sure, Your Majesty. <sighs> it's fine. I'm going to have to verify this. Okay? Uh, please, on your way, I need you to go to Rudike's house and tell him that I need to see him immediately. What are you doing here? I came to see you. I don't want to see you. Uh, princess, I know you are hot. And I am here to make amends. Hot? Yes. Now? No. As you can see, Ken, I have healed. I am no longer hot. I have moved on. So I would suggest you do the same. Hmm? Princess, there is no moving on without you. If you think you can get me back with that lying tongue of yours, then you are a bigger fool than I thought. My dear, I have realized my mistakes, and that is why I'm here to make a man. Please, hear me out. For how long? How long has he been Ken? You got me pregnant and asked me to abort it. Then I refused. And before my parents, you denied me. Made me look like a slut that had been sleeping with every man in this kingdom. After putting me through that shame, you had a God to show up here and tell me you are sorry. Uh, please. I'm sorry. 
Ken, sorry cannot fix this. Sorry is not enough. I'm begging. I am sorry. Please. Ken, if it is a show you came here to put up, then I am sorry to disappoint you. As you can see, You've got no audience. So please, just stop this drama. Get up and leave. I am sorry. And I'm not going to leave this place until you tell me you have, you have forgiven me. You will not leave here until I forgive you? Yes. Then get ready to kneel down here forever. Princess. My love. She's three and three with me. Alpha, the man escaped. What do you mean escaped? Before getting to the back, we couldn't find him. Did you check these fences, bro? How do you expect that old man to climb that fence with barbed wire? Kai, this is an old man now. Nah. He must have run into this house or something. Baba, search this man. Bro, the house is locked. How did this man escape? Bro, I don't know. Is it no, no? You can run. You can run, but you can't hide from us. Tomorrow is another day. <laughs> okay. said, no, no. We go fuck you up. Wait for us now. Nah. Let's go. Princess, being in this mood wouldn't solve anything. He is a changed man. You don't know Ken. Princess, I know him. Remember, you told me a lot about him. Trust me, Andy, you don't know a bit about Ken. My princess, the man said he has changed. Why don't you give him the benefit of the doubt and try to and believe him? Ken can never change. My princess, the bottom line is you need to mend fences with him. Remember, little queen will start asking for the father. What do you intend to tell her? I will tell her her father is dead. No, my princess, no. What if she finds out in future? How do you think that will make her feel? How? I don't 
think she would like that idea. It's okay, my princess. I, I know this isn't her decision to make. But remember, you need to make a good decision for your daughter. All this would actually benefit her if you get a good decision for her. Okay, my princess. Indeed, you can go now. Thank you, my princess. understand your question, your majesty. There is nothing complex about my question about the Asta simple question. What do you know about the death of these men? Let me get it, your majesty. Are you in any way insinuating that I have a hand in their death? I've not said anything. Unless, of course, you have something to tell me. Your Majesty, I don't have anything to tell you. I don't know anything about their deaths. I was even shocked to hear that they are dead. A boy for you, Rudike. I intend to involve the police in this. If there is anything that you know, talk to me now. So that I know how to deal with this. Your Majesty, murder is the highest crime in Igbo land. And it disconnects the murderer from the spirit of our ancestors. A man like me, that stand before deities on a daily basis, will never even think of taking a life. Not to think of doing it. You know it, Your Majesty. So I should go ahead and involve the police. Your Majesty, if that is what your spirit tells you, then go ahead. General, General, Black Diamond, Black Diamond. <laughs> so I guess it's my turn to wait for you guys today. No that, no ma, eh, no ma. Black Diamond. What thing bring you come our cabal? The balance. Get our balance, go. Why are why are us? Why are why are us? Why are why are You got a card, General Black Diamond. Your account number. What can you call him now? Uh, 3070. Hold on. How are you going to do it? <laughs> money talks, money talks. Yeah. 3070 72 98 19. I'll check now. You won't miss to call this thing again. 98 98 9 million last one. 500,000 are sent to your account. Oh Hey! Correct! Correct, okay, mama! Yeah, I know the shout too. Ma check, we need to see Kalat. You know collect charges, sir. Mama the mama! So when is Iche is in Nunu going down? Oh the worry. By this time, by this time next weekend, we don't come out that mouth for this piece of this earth. I'd really appreciate it if you guys hasten on that. Forget, mama. See you the eat it, eat it, eat it. See as you will say it. Eat it, why my eat it, why my eat it why? Oh, good to do. <laughs> I 
I went to your house to look for you, but I did not see you. In fact, when I got there, I didn't hear you. That's the truth. And what exactly did you come to do in my house? You declared war on my friends and I. And now, Nana and Dorakwe are dead. The king told me. What happened to them? What killed them? Don't even pretend you don't know what happened to them. I do not know what happened to them. Maybe you should tell me. Ha! You killed my friends. And you know that I know that you killed my friends. And you will not escape me. I said, no, no. Yes. Fighting me will mean fighting the wrong person. I do not have any reason to kill your friends. You killed my friend, you bloody liar. You killed my friends and you will not listen. I will pursue you to the very ends of the earth until I urinate on your dead body. The thing that killed your friends will kill you if you do not open your eyes and look for whatever killed them. Uh, I do not need to look elsewhere because the evil man that killed my friends is standing right here and before whatever me. is making you think that I killed your friends. Uh, no, what, 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 what makes you think so? You have an antagonistic against us. All this while, you have burned. Ah, but I did not think you would go this far. But because you have gone this far, you will pay with your life. Yes. For the record, uh -huh. I did not kill your friends. I don't have any reason to do so. But if it is war that you want, I promise you I will give you a double fold of it. I just declared war against you. And you will not escape me. Because I will urinate on your dead body. You will not escape your lie. You can't do nothing. Nothing. You can't do nothing. On my way home. Where exactly are you? I'm very close to the village square. Wait for me there. I'll meet you up now. Uh, okay, I will be waiting for you there. This man is a spirit. I think this bastard knows you are following him. This bastard knows you are following him. Ah, God. It's long to 10 seconds we got here. Where did he divert to? Ezen Nuna. Ezen Nuna has been playing smart, Abi. This bastard has been playing smart, Abi. <laughs> Ezen Nuna. Okay. You think you are smarter than us? 
You think that you're smarter than us? We'll get you. Let's go. My princess, I am believing God for a miracle. What do you mean by that? Uh, let it be that God has answered my prayers by touching your heart for you to give me a second chance in your life. Ken, what exactly do you want? I want to marry you. After almost six years of not seeing you, then you pop up from nowhere to tell me you want to marry me. Do, do you think this is how things are done? My princess, like I said in the palace, I have realized my mistakes as well I'm here to make amends. Or rather, you're here because of my daughter. No, 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 no. Far from that. Then what? What exactly do you want, Ken? Princess, I just told you that I want to marry you. Why? Because I love you. And I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you too. I love you so much, Ken. But you broke my heart. You broke my heart. Princess, I am really sorry for my actions. I did what I did out of ignorance. And I can assure you here that it will not happen again. I'm sorry. Killers have invaded our community. They have killed two people already. Uh, we already have a bad at your majesty. And uh, we're wondering when precisely did this can start? Today, we got into that the third person has just been killed. Your Majesty, does anyone have an idea on how they were killed? We have nothing. Two bodies were found at two separate locations, and that is why I have invited the both of you. I need you two to investigate. I need the both of you to unmask the face of this case. We are already on it, Your Majesty. Exactly, Your Majesty. My men has been able to gather useful information from some members of the community, and I hopefully will get back to you as soon as possible. Human life is sacred. The lives of the people of our community is sacred. And anyone who takes the life of another must not be tolerated. Your Majesty, we promise to do our job to the very best of our ability. If you need anything, let me know. Hmm? Yes, Your Majesty. If you need anything, 
come to me. If anyone stands in your way as a stumbling block or a huddle too high to scale, come to me. We must unmask the face of these killers. Huh? We do as instructed, Your Majesty, and um, thanks again for reposing confidence in us. We do exactly that. When the need arises, let's walk. Thank you, Your Majesty. Nothing is hidden under the sun. Okuna gawa wa, anya na gawa wa na fukwa. There is a wait for every sinner. Okwa me, okwa wa na. The wages of sin, joy, momenta, wepwa ke wa na fe. <laughs> this is amazing. Thank you. Oh my God. Hi. Angoli, you are doing exceptionally good. What a transformation. It's been hard work all through. Oh. I mean, I was so determined. I must work well exactly. to impress you. You know what is working for you, Angolika? The zeal, the spirit. The resilience. And I like that. Your hard work is beginning to pay. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I am so happy. I'm happy I'm too. So proud of you. Oh my dear friend, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Good afternoon, Ichi. Ah, uh, love, how are you? I'm fine. I was actually on my way to your place. Uh, any problem? It's not really a problem. Uh, so what is it? What is it? Um, actually, the tax you and your friends gave me to carry out concerning the king, mm -hmm. I don't think I'll be able to do it anymore. Uh, that is not going to be a problem. Huh? Is there another thing we are supposed to discuss? No. Okay, so bye bye. Uh, but What's wrong with this man? Why is he acting confused? Why is he acting like someone is after him? Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Look at him. He's one of the evil men, huh? Yes, Your Majesty. He is actually one of them. He is a colleague who tried to escape during the arrest, was shot, and is now presently in police custody. So we managed to bring this <laughs> idiot. Your Majesty. Well, shut up or ask if you speak. Shut up. I am sorry, Your Majesty. Please forgive me. I didn't mean to. I swear I didn't mean to. So, so someone paid me to kill. What? Chill and all that. I didn't mean to. Someone paid you? Your Majesty, please. Your Majesty. My orders in council. You took the lives of innocent men. Your Majesty. I'm sorry. I'm Somebody paid, paid us to kill. I did my lap and I'm happy. I did me too. Your Majesty. She is what? My friend. Don't worry, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. She, 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 she paid us to, to, to kill me. We. 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 She was the one that killed you and lies that said Lillian before the Majesty. That's enough. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Do you know her? She she paid us to kill each other and all that way. Your Majesty, no! You know the language. Kneel up right That is my wife to me. In a few market days, she will be the next queen of Isuginato. 
ask you again. Do you know her? Talk now. Talk. I have evidence. Do you know the enormity of what you have just said? Your Majesty, I can provide evidence. Believe me, Your Majesty. Please, please Your Majesty. Talk now. Say something. Do you know this young man? Oh my God. It's not what you think. Why does your countenance betray you? What have you done? Your Majesty. Talk to me, Obiagali. What have you done? I did what I did because Ichi is the unknown and his friends. They wanted to control you through me in the process that you married me. To, I had to avoid it, so I set plans to take them out. You set plans to kill Megali. You took the lives of innocent men. How could you? Your Majesty, believe me, I did it for your own good. I know what I think. And what I think is that you have always carried evil inside of you. Hidden. A very dark place in your heart. But today that evil comes to light. Your Majesty, please. Your Majesty, please. How can you be so evil yet you want to be the next queen of Isio Nyanato? Is that even possible? Oh. Your Majesty, please. Vigilante. I'm here, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty, please. Even the so called Iche Eze Nunu needs to be arrested. You have my permission to search the entire village. Find him and have him arrested. Yes, Your Majesty. Majesty, please. Move it. Your Majesty. She paid, she paid Move. us. Your Majesty. Move. Your Majesty. Move it. It has been proven that he cheers and not all. Has a hand in what happened to those men. And I did not hesitate at all to involve the police. Just before you walked in, the police called to say that they have been arrested. Your Majesty, I am aware of the arrest. I'm wondering why I got summoned. Mm -hmm. Oh, am I going to be arrested? <laughs> Irudike, <laughs> stop it. You have been summoned here by me because you have always been right and I have always been wrong. Oh. Yes. Your Majesty, uh, honestly, I am glad that Everything is playing out this way. You know, you've started seeing me as an enemy. And I know that there was nothing I could do to make you feel differently. Um, Obuefi, I have never seen you as an enemy. Not for once have you betrayed me. You were only stepping beyond your boundaries, and I needed to remind you that I am king. And that is exactly what I did. I never said you're no longer the king. And I don't have any reason whatsoever.
to look at you in that light. I summoned you here because I want you and I to discuss the future of Isio Nato. It is clear that all the maidens that I have chosen to take the position of the Queen of Isio Yenato have all proven not to be fit for that position. I have always trusted you. And that is why I have decided to give you the task of finding me a wife. Find me someone who would love to be queen of this great kingdom. Find me someone who would be loyal to the royal family. Find me someone who would not drag that name through the mud. You are the king. And now you have given me a task that I had never handled before. What am I going to do? <laughs> oh, ye man of little faith. <laughs> I don't know how you're going to do it, but I am confident that you're going to do it. I know that you, Obwefi, Irudike, of Isionyanato, will do a good job. Well, Your Majesty, let's see how it goes. The willingness to at least to try means a lot to me. Thank you, Your Majesty. I never wanted this discussion to take place in the palace. That is why I invited you here. I don't have an issue with that. Then I'll go straight to the point. Fine. The king, your brother, has shifted the responsibility of getting a good wife for him to me. As you already know, I am not good with women, and so I will not be able to deliver on this mandate. I have invited you here to shift the same responsibility to you. Oh yes, please, would you be able to get a good girl that will make a good wife to the king? Sure, Obuefi, I can. I can do that. Uh, I am very serious here. Are you sure you can do it? Very sure, Wafi. Definitely. I, I have never been sure of anything as I am of this. Oh, then go ahead and do it. I will make the presentation and it will be settled. Thank you very much, Wafi, for finding me worthy to do this. And I promise I will not disappoint neither you nor my brother. Um, Princess. Yes, Obwefi. I am glad you're excited about this. I am. I am certainly very excited about this. <laughs> um, uh, that aside, Obwefi, I want to seize this opportunity to say I am sorry. I am sorry for the way I have spoken to you in the time past. I misunderstood you. I thought you were a very bad man, not knowing you were actually the best amongst us. And I promise, going forward, I will respect you and everything you stand for. I am sorry. Princess, is okay. There is no challenge. The only problem is that, based on the orientation made popular by the warrant teachers of the colonial masters. Our tradition totally has been painted evil. Even some of our filmmakers in their ignorance is even making it popular the more. 
but not to worry. We are correcting all of that because our tradition is our only way to connect to God, the supreme deity of the cosmos. Oh, Wifi, sorry, I will have to cut you there because you're getting me confused the more. <laughs> it's all right. Um, so, when are you bringing the girl? Um, tomorrow. So fast? That's how fast I can walk. And this particular task is special to me. In that case, I will be at the palace to introduce her to the king. Fine. She will be ready. Thank you very much once again for handing over this tax to me. You're welcome. I will not disappoint you. I have to take my leave now so I can jump on it. Permission granted. Thank you. And please say me well to your family. Of course I will. Uh, oh! <laughs> oh Greetings, Your Majesty. Uh, oh, wait for you, <laughs> uh, my right hand man. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. Uh, mm. I'm very excited. Oh, you are? I see it. <laughs> Please. Um, Your Majesty, yes. let me go straight to the point. You sent me on errand, and I am back with the good news. Oh, let me hear it. Oh! <laughs> Your Majesty, here comes. The maiden that will make a good wife to you and furthermore become the queen of this great kingdom. That is if you will permit it. Oh, and well, if I am to go by what the eyes can see, I would say that she's beautiful. Oh, yes, she is. <laughs> what do you say, my sister? Um. I stand with Obuefi Rudike on this one. Oh, yes. She's a beautiful girl. She's a good girl. And she will make a good queen to the people of Isunyanato. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Your Majesty. You have not told me the name of this beautiful maid. Oh, that before. reminds me. Please forgive my manners. Can you please introduce yourself? Tell your majesty your name. My name is Angolika, daughter of Mazin Nochiri. Mazin Nochiri? Yes. The hunter? Huh? She's the same girl. The one you rejected. Now you have accepted her because she has brought out the inner beauty in her. My reason was always beyond beauty. Brother, please, let's not argue. No argument. <laughs> ah, the good thing is, she's here. You like her. It's a yes. Everybody is happy. Um, Anneli. Yes. You are welcome to our family. Thank you. Um, if you permit me, I would show you around the palace. Not before I have you. Right in the palm of my hands. <laughs> I must say that you are the seventh wonder of the world. An excellent beauty indeed. Thank you. <laughs> eh? no, just, yeah. For bringing her where she belongs. Those who tried to impose another have failed. And you are here because you are destined to be here. Welcome, my darling, to where you belong. The next queen of Isionato. Because 
It's a foolish man that thinks he's wiser than the gods. It's young and not oh hey, oh. I don't never see no good at you. Doctor, I better go for the old. The heart of men is full of greed and wickedness All is plotting for evil hey. But the sin that men do Must surely live with them I am a watching tonight sinner hey. They are evil men So wise, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Man, it's a foolish man that thinks he's wiser than the gods. He's young and not oh, yeah.